Arm forged company making their way across these bitter peaks instead of a storm that blocks out the sun and where things from the shadow fell roam during the day because the sunlight's not there to kill them all. Uh, recently, they had a run in with an old uh, enemy of theirs, a necromancer. Uh, they. I don't know if you guys ever caught his name. <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, you probably did at one point, just because it seems like they would have... Probably, but uh, the old necromancer friend of theirs, Drazzle Vibben, who is coming to have his revenge for the death of his brother uh, in the city of Verinder with the dragon attack, they killed and burned the bodies of both Drenic Vibben and Drazzle Vibben. Drazzle appeared with this very strange, gigantic, floating-through-the-air creature that walked forward, leaving no imprint on the snow, and drew the life out of people. But it's no big deal for the Dawnforge company. Lysera runs out, summons a, a freaking sunbeam, blasts through both of them, and, f and uh, a fight where you guys are just destroying both of them. Uh, you get just uh, eventually, uh, Drazzle exploded to nothingness uh, with a fireball, and the Nightwalker uh, as well taken down. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and pick up exactly where that left off, where the last strike, I believe it was Bloodscale who made the last stick, or was it... No, it was... Yeah, it was, wasn't it Bloodscale? Blood oh. yep. Let's take a look at the turnout. Yep, Bloodscale. I love having everything you save. <laughs> Alright, so... It, yeah, it's in the chat. Oh, yeah. That's Fucking right. Fucking Spectrum's That's right there. Justice. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Perfect. And then so... Uh, as these, this creature just, it, there's the slice into it, and it just stands for a second, and then pff, explodes into smoke. And uh, it's once again quiet. Can just the wind feet? and the snow around you. I have a question. Of Immediate course. question. Yeah. Is there a relatively, <laughs> relatively sizable chunk of the necromancer? There is not but blood bits. There is no, nothing large enough that you could even freeze. He was he was very much exploded. The fireball did so much more damage than HP that he had. There is nothing left. <laughs> Pump drummer. Sorry, buddy. Uh, is there anything... I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay in the bushes for now. Is there sure. anything else going on in the forest? Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> And that's a perception. Chalk. <laughs> Natural one for a 21. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Natural ones are always a failure. Uh, you are... That's fair. No matter how reliable, because it's. I consider this a... a um, you know what? Considering what you just went through, it kind of makes sense. Uh, uh, Uza, yeah, I, no, I that's question. totally fair. I'm into it. As, as much as I don't like to pile on the checks, <clears throat> blood scale at this moment would be... Still battle frenzy ish. Sure, go ahead and make and a perception check. Just looking for things. Um, so Uza, as you as you're kind of like uh, huddled in the bush, still hiding. Better than kind a of, one. You kind of like start to look around, and then you kind of like you think you hear something. You close your eyes, and you're like, Oh god, oh god! <laughs> and remembering the the pain that had just swarmed through your entire body, and then you kind of open again, and you're looking around, and you're trying to listen for anything, but then you're like, No, I don't want to know. I don't want to. And you just like fuck it. You're like fuck it, and you just start making noise so you don't have to hear anything else, because mentally you're just not ready for anything else to be happening yet. Uh, just, just noping out of this whole just, situation. Just trauma noping out. Um, blood scale with uh, a ten. You 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 kind of you start looking around. And you're like, <sighs> And there's doesn't seem to be anything but the quiet of the snow and the wind. I hit the ground on my knees and take a deep breath while like feeling my head and coming away with blood. Oh uh, yeah, there's it's a like... bit. Blood scale is also gonna flop down, but he's flopping down onto his face and doing like an upside down snow angel to get blood bits off of him. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, you, 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 you look kind of like, uh, have you ever seen a, um, a bearded dragon do like a little dust bath? It's <laughs> uh, yep. just yep. large dragon man in the snow, just brooding and digging around and, and flipping it off and, and, and throwing it off yourself until you leave a little bloody patch on the f ground, but you're pretty clean for the most part. How does everybody else look that's out there with me, Ula and Bloodscale? I'm fine. Bloodscale's great, fam. 
pretty okay. Uh, Ulu, how many, um, how, what's your, your HP right now? Uh, I don't think I saved it properly because okay, no it's at that full HP. Okay, <laughs> no no, no. That's I right. I think I think you were around. Uh, like still had like I want to say seventy or eighty HP. Like you lost a yeah. little bit, but nothing nothing dangerous. Yeah, definitely some somewhere around there. Okay. You guys all right then? No one else so. needs healing. Thank you, though. Digits. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Triple digits! Must be nice! I smack a heal spell on myself. It is nice. Perfect. Uh, go ahead and roll the, the heal. And, uh, let's uh, go. As you slap your chest, you fall asleep. Sweet! He, it's blood scale all of a sudden. Oh, he, I he slaps regained. his chest and falls and slams. What's that? I just regained 70 hit points. It's not oh, you a went roll. to, but when you went to cast your healing spell, you tried to pull the magic and you fell asleep. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, I did? Yep. And then oh, Ulu, shit. seeing them, you're like, what the f? And you fall asleep. Some, some con saves <laughs> that we rolled at the end of last time. Yep. Am, I, am I still awake? Yes, you're still awake. Okay. Um, I. Given this new information, can I make another perception check? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can. Are you are okay. you staying where you're at? What are you doing exactly? I am staying where I'm at because, as far as I know, something <laughs> has just put my friends to sleep. Sure. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little uh, concerned about some sort of magical attack. It's Twenty-one without well. being a natural one. Yeah. I rolled oh, yeah, a four. Reliable so talent. That's right. That's right. Yeah, uh, uh, beyond twenty automatically bumps it up to the minimum number. Does no, reliable talent nice. cancel out natural what? ones? No. Uh, pretty much anything but a natural one, though, below a ten, it will. So with a twenty-one, um, you're like you're kind of listening, and and deep in the, it's it, there's something, there's some shuffling in the woods, and you do hear a <laughs> that you recognize as the hungry and the. Oh, shit. Recognize as the lonely. Uh, They're not right, super close, I'm, but they are out there. And it is. I'm still too cold to fly, aren't I? Um. Yeah. It's it's still too cold and windy to fly. Okay. I am going to. You're out of turn order, so you can move. As I'm out of turn order, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um. Uh, hold on. Before uh, you do anything, um, I'm gonna uh trade use some uh, my my sorcery points to get a. Sp Lot, spell slot bag so that I can telekinesis maybe one of them out of there to see if it's an uh, uh, area of you know, see if it's an area of effect spell. Sure. Uh, okay. Um, go ahead and uh, mark off your sorcery points and then what's the distance on telekinesis? It's like 120 feet? With your spell uh, cyber? Yeah, with spell cyber it's 120 feet. Okay. Um, and then who are you trying to pick up and pull out? Uh, Zephyr's the lightest of them, right? Yes, and the most injured. Also the most injured. <laughs> also the most yeah, well, definitely, definitely her. Perfect. Uh, how far do you want to bring her? I'm gonna bring her right up to the door and see if uh, Mesnos can maybe pull her in. Perfect. So as you pull her to the door, Mesnos Wait. quickly reaches out and pulls her in, and uh, you see Mesnos pulls her and then immediately like kneels down and holds her head in his hand, and he's kind of looking over, and he, he just kind of looks up at you. He's like, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be wearing off, and he's. Um, it doesn't. She's pulled out and she's safe inside, but still asleep. I'm gonna move up to Ula. Perfect. And I'm gonna try and shake her awake. Perfect. Go ahead and roll a strength check. Ooh, I'm really good at those. <laughs> Don't shake the baby. Hey, hey that's nice. not too bad. So you you kind of you 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 go to shake her and you're like, and you realize like. With your, you, you have to get kind of creative with it because how much bigger she is than you. So you kind of, like, you hunker down and you get, like, under the shoulders and you kind <laughs> I of... I have a crowbar. Shake the hell out of her. <laughs> but, unfortunately, Aracocra nothing bar. happens. Uh, 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 okay. oh. uh, 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 I'm gonna kick her. Rolling on herb's attack. Wow. Fucking hard. <laughs> Break your hollow bird bird foot. Probably it wouldn't be the first time. First, she ruined my boots. Sixteen. So and as you go to kick, kick her, um, you you break your 
Talon one more time. You just the tip of it breaks <laughs> off as you go to kick her, and you take. Uh, I don't suppose points. I get advantage because I mean she's prone and incapacitated. Sure. Yeah, I hate to be advantage. that guy. No, take Fine. advantage if you want. Yep, you still break. Better you do the worse it's gonna hurt. God damn it! Leave my talons alone. <laughs> it's for the boots, is it? God damn. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wake up. This is going well. Nope. Okay, you're new, so uh, let's. Um, I'm gonna shoot blood scale. I hit him in the. Uh, I hit him Bloodscale's with the earpiece. Shit, it's fine. Hold on. No, he's shooting. Uh, he's shooting blood scale. Uh, what, what's, uh, what's going on out there? I don't know what this to is do. I mean, we, we got Zephyr in here, and she's still the same. So be careful. Roll. It looks uh, like it's magic. Okay, it's <laughs> Why um, would you use Akani's justice for Christ's sake? Uh, because <laughs> I'm so, panicking. He's panicking. Uh, so there's no sneak attack. I'm not attack, doing sneak attack. Yeah. Okay. So no. um, <laughs> 25 does hit. Uh, so you fire one directly into like the the meaty part of uh, Blood Scales, like like upper like. Shoulder and uh, not gonna shoot for his neck. I'd be like thigh. <laughs> okay, Slay. and you get right into the meat of the thigh, doing sixteen piercing damage, uh, full damage because no rage. So mark off sixteen HP. Already did. Perfect. I fucking rolled max on that too. Of course I did. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm still pump out enough blood ooh, to make it ooh, easier ooh. to slide him around. Dispel magic on that shot. Is it too late for that, or do I gotta shoot him again? <laughs> so. Um, ah! You can yeah, uh, go, ahead and, go ahead and shoot him again if you want. Uh, Don't or... do it! Don't shoot him again! I have Dispel Magic! Hold on! <laughs> That's a good idea, so, thank you! <laughs> so to be clear, the Dispel Magic, um, you can choose whether it does damage or not when you're attuned to the dragon. The dragon helps you not to do damage with it if you want. Um, Which you are! Oh, they gave the dragon. You. And you currently are. Perfect, so... Um, I hit um, Ulo with that one. Perfect. Okay, so you dispelled magic, and then, so, uh, as you fire, so we're gonna do this, uh, simultaneous, so, um, Uza, as you, you pull, uh, you, you, instead of pulling, um, a, an arrow out, you just hear the, I have you, and then you're like, oh, okay, and then you, so you reach out, and then the small, a small spark comes up the bow and touches your fingers, and as you pull it, I'm back, sorry, it forms I, magical... I hate to interrupt you. Okay. Hi. Yeah. I don't think it's been seven days since I've used this. Oh, shit. Yeah, you just shot him with an arrow. Never mind. Uh, Ula, you... Uh, yep. <laughs> Ulu, uh, Lumpha, you, uh, as you, you feel yourself come awake, you are, you are laying in snow, um, but you are awakened. Well, what the... <laughs> Seeing it work on her, I'm going to hit a blood scale with it. Perfect. Blood scale? You this should be quite immediate. Let's go. You will reawaken with uh, an arrow in your thigh. Two arrows? <laughs> no, just one. He didn't fire the second one because he didn't have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't have the charge available. That's new! Right, gotcha, gotcha. I woke you up! Mm. Somehow, I don't think he did. <laughs> mm, okay. <clears throat> Should we head inside? There's more of those terrible things out here, and I hurt everywhere, and Zephyr's asleep. <laughs> okay, good talk. I'm gonna head inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go inside. Right, I fell face down All in right. the snow. What? And then, uh, so a uh, blood scale. You fell right where you just hollowed out, so you do have a little bit more blood on than you than you did. Uh, I'm going to uh, dispel that. magic on um, uh, uh, Zephyr. Zephyr. Zephyr, Zephyr cast a higher spell slot because I'm out of spell slots and points. So Zephyr, you reawaken in the arms of Mesnos, who is looking very worried down on you. How bad! Oh, come back. Um, you okay? I smack myself with heal. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and heal the original amount you rolled, <laughs> so you don't have to roll it again. Boom! <laughs> I don't have to roll it. Seventy points, even. Oh, you use just heal spell. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I just use heal spell. Like that. That's a good spell. 70 hit points back. I'm up and at him. Perfect. Almost um, full. So, like, as you I guys feel better now. As you guys are coming I into the, the fortress, 
Uh, you look around, you see there's a, the carriage and horses are kind of crammed into this lower floor. Uh, a bunch of the, the furniture has been kind of knocked out of the way by the horses and the, the carriage when it came in. So it's kind of like smashed against the wall. It's pretty tight here, but you can make your way to the stairs. So, uh, I should have the horse and carriage in that room last before the carriage went in. <laughs> yeah, the horse and carriage. Last time there was a garage for them. Is that is that something we should take into account? No, there wasn't. You guys left them outside. Yeah, there was. A... No, we didn't. We brought them in because of all the bullshit. Mm -hmm. Oh no! What it was? Um, they brought him in and then into TJ's tent in, or sorry, Viser's tent inside yeah. of the fortress. That's what it was. No, okay. the tent was in a different room. I thought it was in your room, but you you could you could still get them through and into the tent where they would have a stable. <coughs> Let's yeah. do that. Yeah. That sounds right to me. Then let's do that. Okay, mm -hmm. so you guys uh, just guide the, the horses into, and like the the tent, of course, is much bigger on the inside, and so there's already um, servants, invisible servants, ready to take the uh, the horses and and stable them up. And you notice that the the stables are super fancy in here, um, as is like they they kind of match Mercedes' um, saddle and and um, what is the name of it coteries. No, that's not the same. Anyway, uh, but. And so the, the horses are put comfortably up into the stable in the tent and are being taken care of by the invisible servants. Um, as you enter, Viseria Butler uh, appears and is like, Is there anything that you require tonight, Master? You are muted if you're talking. If you got nothing no. tonight, Sari, just make sure it's extra comfy. If anyone needs or wants anything, just let the butler know, please. He's Absolutely. uh he's the best. Good night, sweet. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, are pretty beat and uh I mean even just being out for the in the weather, you know, for the little bit. Everybody but blood scale, you guys pretty much were beat to shit by the weather. Um like it was uh no small thing to be out of it, even for the small time that you are. The storm's starting to get pretty intense as, as the night comes on. Perfect. Does anything, anybody want to do anything before they, they head to bed or take a rest? I am going to just healing hands myself. Perfect. I'm going to do yeah. a Kana check Whoops. outside to see if that I can find about anything. Right. I'm going to escort Viser outside, just in case. Well, I'm not going outside. outside. I'm Excuse me. Outside. <laughs> oh, who, what are you Arcana checking? I'm trying to see if I can get a feel for any magic happening. Oh, perfect. Okay, so um, you with a with a twenty, you don't feel any active magic, but you do feel there are traces of there's some sort of transmutation magic and some sort of illusory magic. Um, there's definitely something there, like this this kind of like remnant of of a very powerful something that that and it's really weird because the magic um, it doesn't feel like it's centered along the magical ley lines and everything that you can feel as a sorcerer almost all the time as a background feeling. It's almost like a like an innate sense for you, but this feels different. It doesn't fit. It's could it's I gross. could I pinpoint the origin of this? Or uh, of this feeling, or uh, uh, of the illusory magic. So, it's definitely to the to the north. With a twenty, you can't pinpoint it uh, down to really between the two. You know, it was definitely one of the two adversaries, but they were with the twenty. They're too close to, to determine which one it was coming from. Uh, after this amount of time, where like they've been, like they're not actively making the magic, and even as you're you're sensing it, you feel it completely dissipate. Can I? Do dispel magic? Uh, like, are there corpses still out here? Uh, no. One burst into smoke, and the other you blew up into just basically he exploded like a blood balloon. Um. Okay. So, spell magic. Do do do. Do 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 do. I don't know how I can. Uh, one creature, one object, or magical effect within range. Sure. All right. I don't have an object, so I can't like. I was like, if I can like bless the earth or something, you know, like that kind of thing with dispel magic, where I'm just like this area, pow. But I have a thing I could do. Hey, why not? Would you like to try? 
going to, if I can fucking find it, because roll 20 is being weird again. Mm -hmm. Should be able to, with bare totem. It's, it's bare totem me shit, hold on a second. I'm going bear to, as a ritual cast, commune with nature. Sure. And I'm going to ask the area around us if there's any trace of that necromancer fuck. Perfect. Okay. Other than the bits. Perfect. Uh, How so far out weird shit is. So general the, the land stuff. Your your bear spirit comes to you after the the ritual is is complete, and uh, he just looks. You know, as you ask your question, he's like, "There is nothing left that the land will not consume." He is ended. There are many in the night. I just found out my dog howls. That's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> He's I've never done that before. That was good. Um, and then, he, and then he's like, <laughs> there are many in the night that would come and attack anything. They are not of this world. They are within a hundred meters. Fun. And then I was just gonna get general, like, lay of the land shit. And then, um, so he, he kind of goes over, uh, the, the lay of the land is, uh, it's, other than the, this trail, it is super dense woods that kind of go, um, you know, they, it's a mountain range, so, you know, there's many inclining, you know, different elevations and everything like that there are certain places that he, he does warn you that like if you head too far off to the left or the right at certain points there are steep drop offs that are, are more akin to cliffs than mountains and and so he kind of gives you some places to be aware of on the trail ahead but you don't have to worry you know he's like as long as you stay on the trail and don't go too much off of it you shouldn't be in any trouble cool cool yes. uh, he also um, how, how, how far out does that go Is like three miles. Uh, it's radius is actually limited to three hundred feet. No, wait. Spell gives you knowledge of the land within three miles of you. Perfect. It's okay. caves and underground that it's three hundred feet. Perfect. So, wait. um, great, dude. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you creepy boy. Come on. Borf, Borf, gonna howl. Dude, he's never howl. That was a really okay. good howl. I'm like kind of proud of him, but like, out of nowhere, you're just like, dude, shut up. Um, <laughs> uh, Dude, no, why you now? Stay here. You stay here. Boy. Um, so he says, On the distance of what I feel, there is something causing this storm to the north. Right? Then, yeah, no. You we're can't hear him. Only, you can't hear him. He's only, only the spirit guide. So, uh, so uh, then, he, then at that point, he kind of gives you just a, a knowing nod. And then fades back. Tiny fist bump! Tiny, Tiny fist bump! Fist bumps as he goes. Cool! Alright, don't go off the trail. A bunch of those little fucking creatures are coming again tonight. Uh, way north, something's actually causing this storm? How That's far north? Three-ish miles? Okay. It's my spell. I know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Alright. That's that's good because I was thinking something in the eerie, and it's better that the the thing that's eerie is here, not in the eerie. And we're going north, right? <laughs> well done. See. Then we're going north, right? Is that the way yes. the path is taking us? Yes. Right. All right. Well, we're gonna run into it. So uh, tomorrow, everybody might want to be prepared <laughs> for some bullshit. I am gonna try some new stuff tomorrow. Huh? I'm also going to yeah. remind the DM I that I put Shanoth in uh, Zephyr's staff while she was sleeping. Oh yeah, I know. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, uh, is anybody else doing anything before they find their rest? I am adjusting my spells. Oh yeah, you can. Well, you'll have to. You'll you can reprep them in the morning, but um, I wouldn't do that yet, just in case. 
Fuck, okay. Just in case! Hmm. <laughs> Alright. So Gotta wait for the go ahead and mark your long rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, I do have one question for the DM if no nobody has anything else. It's just a clarification item. Absolutely. How many days has it been? The last time I used Dispel Magic was in the fight, uh, was in the, the hunting rogue off where I almost uh, died. Uh, four um, days. It's been four days since then. Okay. Yep. So this will be number five. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank so, you, sir. Of course. That's what I'm here for. Literally. Um, <laughs> anybody else doing anything? Hmm. Or any questions? Perfect. So. So with that, um, you all lay down and try to find rest in this place. And as sleep kind of takes you, you find Zadok. You lay down onto your the place where you had your bed. This, this very specific layout that matches the monastery perfectly. And uh, as you close your eyes and you just start the small process, almost a chance, almost this part of you that is automatic with, through your training, your eyes open. And once again, you're at the monastery, but you, you're excited. It's the first day that you're going to be training with that stranger. You're going to be learning how to bring song and blade and magic together and weave them around you. The stranger said that you could do it with any blade at any time, but only a few times a day. You gather your things and you start to head for the door, but somebody's standing in your way. It's a Githzerai. He wears dark purple robes. His long beard, almost to his belly button, is gray to the point of almost white. My dear Zarek, you are quick to abandon the ways of your people. Are we not important to you? Does this sanctuary for all, and, uh, <laughs> and against all odds standing, mean nothing to you? Trust your elders. Trust your heart. You know deep inside the ones older than you, wiser than you, have already made this decision. Do you reply? <laughs> now I don't. I was gonna. You can that's if you like. Mom asked you to do the, that's like what mom asked you to do the dishes when you're about to do the dishes. Now I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then that. Nah. So you... um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm following. My heart tells me that I cannot stay and learn these skills. Self. Keep them here in this monastery. I have to use them to help people, to do good, to make more good in the world. All the world. And his face contorts a little bit. Just a trace of a sneer. As he shakes his head and he's like, This is your decision. And then you look back at your bed, and you feel yourself shift. Everything shifts with that gaze. And upon looking back, instead of where your bed should be, you're standing at the edge of the monastery, looking out into the madness of Limbo, the realm constantly tearing itself and everything apart. And next to you, that same old Gethzerai stands. Everything is temporary. This madness, the threats to the material blame, even ourselves. We are here, though. We can record it, research it, understand it. But we cannot save it any more than we can save the passing minutes. All will cease to be as it is and will change. What you actually crave is control. The control to live. The <laughs> to live as you wish in the short time that you have. But what if we could craft a reality together for everyone? 
I need your help to make this a reality. Do you reply? I don't think so. Right, I think has... I th it just kind of a, you know, the whole let the silence speak, stare. Right. And as you stare out, the silence filling the gap, you feel a push from behind you, a hard push. And as you're flung out into the madness that is limbo, you see behind you the stranger who taught you the blade. And they yell out, You can be more than they let you hear. You can be the hero. And as she does, behind her, you see the Eldergith stab straight through her, right through her guts. And blood bursts from the wound, splaying out and globbing up and forming orbs as it f comes out into the non-gravity of Limbo. You see a light, like a spear, headed towards you, and you make out inside of it the Dawnforge Company. As the light hits you, you jolt awake, and it is just now that you have the memory connecting the night you went to sleep and when you found yourself on the material plane with the Dawnforge Company. You were abducted from your dream. Huh. So, hold on. Let me uh, <laughs> piece this together here. I think I'm. Sure. I think I'm. So, uh, say please spell it out. I I I, I could use a little recap. Yeah. That's okay. uh, I, <laughs> I'm more than so happy to that? do it with weird dream yeah. stuff like this. So that's yeah, that's fine. Let's 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 uh yeah. So basically, um, you were having um. A dream, basically, you, you're having a repeat of a dream that you had when you were still at the monastery. But inside gotcha. of your dream, there are active forces that are trying to change your mind and shape you. One of them tried to free you, free you from the other. So you realize that this dream, like these are events that could not be simultaneous. They are not a recollection. And so... Sure something pushed you from the dream, but then as the Dawnforge company were traveling through planes of existence, they picked you up from that plane of existence, not your limbo. So while you were dreaming, you were torn from your dream Black. and from limbo and put onto the material plane. Okay. Gotcha. Perfect. I know. I know that I knew that one would have questions, so I, <laughs> I hope it makes yeah. a little more sense. Yeah. I was what... trying to, like I said, trying to piece it all together. Cause it, it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, there's a lot of, but what if, no, I got you. <laughs> and then so, mm -hmm. no, no, yeah. Okay. So, uh, um, okay. Uh, do I know what approximate time of night it is? How long I was asleep? Uh, you feel like you were asleep for about four hours. It's definitely kind of the middle of the night, around like two or 3 a.m. when you wake in, in the dark. Okay. Um, do I, I mean, I good night. woke up suddenly and mm -hmm. alertly, right? Um, do I hear or sense anything dangerous or pressing or urgent? Uh, go ahead and make a perception That's check, perception. and your weapons are already in your hands, just out of pure reflex. First thing. Okay. 14. No, it's quiet. There doesn't seem to be anybody stirring at all. Okay. Um, well, then I am going to set my weapons back down and do some quiet go to sleep meditation. Perfect. Because. Go ahead and make a uh, wisdom check for me. Nothing. Sure. Nope, not a wisdom save. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Ah, easy enough. This is something that has been trained into you from a very small age. You find the rhythm, you find the breathing, you concentrate only on your physical being and then you lay back down and then you feel it you're, you're, you're trained to feel it almost as that waves lapping up against you first your feet, then your knees and slowly going up your body, the feeling of sleep and you find rest once more Zephyr as you find sleep um, are you sharing a room with Mesno still? Yeah. So, um, Mesno, uh, he, since, uh, as you, you woke up in his arms, uh, he took you up and he, he laid you in bed and, and tucked you in. And then he, he went and 
He, just a quick kiss on the forehead before he went and laid down as well. You close your eyes. And you can't sleep. And you kind of struggle with it and you turn to the left and you turn to the right and you're just trying to find that comfortable spot and <sighs> you can't sleep. You can feel every bone in your body and you can't sleep and it's awful. Go ahead and mark a second point of exhaustion on your character sheet. Be uh, point. Do I have to do that? Or do I just take my sleeping drop? Uh, you can try. Definitely try. I'm gonna try some of my sleeping drought. Perfect. Man. You, you, the familiar taste of the drought as you kind of lay in bed. You're like, fuck this. I know the answer. And you, you take your sleeping drought and lie back. And you're still uncomfortable. And you gotta move. You're shitting me. But you can't move. But you're still awake. You just gave yourself fucked sleep. I gave Polaris. myself sleep paralysis. <laughs> <You> Shit. <laughs> and now you can't even roll to try to get comfortable. Now you just gotta lay in it. Oh, that's so gonna be bad, I'm okay. yeah. so, I'm dying on paralysis, I'm okay. With the, the sleep paralysis and the panic and everything that caused, Mark, you are now at a third level of exhaustion. Jesus. Very careful. <laughs> Whoa, that's bad for you. Um, no, I can't scale. change my spells either, huh? You cannot. Uh, you can. Well, I don't know. You can reprepare, but you don't get your spell slots back. So I would say at the beginning of the, the day with the, you can prepare different spells, but you get no spell slots in return. And okay. you also didn't benefit from a short rest, so your wild shapes don't return either. Well, it's a good thing I have one to spare. <laughs> blood scale. Nice try. <laughs> uh, blood scale. As you. What's up, fam? As you lay and and try to find sleep. You get restless, and you just can't find a good, comfortable spot. So you decide to kind of just get up and check on everybody. If you're going to be awake, you might as well be useful. And so as you walk down the hall, you kind of peek in. Uh, you, first, you look into Uza's room, and you see Uza. But Uza's head isn't on. There's blood flowing okay. from the neck. And as you run out, you run over to Zephyr's room and throw the door open. Looking inside, you see both Mesnos and Zephyr pinned to the wall. Daggers stabbing them through, pinning them there. Blood flowing down. Every person you check on in the keep is dead. And then you wake up. I was actually going to try something. Oh, what would you like to try? I was going to try to switch dragons after seeing about the fourth person. Perfect. So you, um, so who are you, you're switching from silver to green? The only okay. other one that's in my head. Say, okay. So you, you you switch to the green and you you feel the, the familiar feeling of of the nature kind of flowing back and embrace you, and then you awaken, breathing heavily in your room, and you're like, okay, it's just a dream. Wasn't I'm gonna it? go check on. Go check on Uza real quick. Perfect. Make you sure run over to Uza's room and you throw the door open. Nope, nope. I'm oh. I'm being quiet about this. Stealth check. I'm not being super quiet. I'm just not ripping okay. open his door. Perfect. I, I just meant in a hurried fashion. I didn't mean like. <laughs> but okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you open the door and again you see this image of a headless Uza. Hmm. And then you awaken again. seen Groundhog's Day. <laughs> Throughout the night, an uncountable amount of times, you find yourself awakening, and everybody's dead. Ulumfa. Hey, at least I get to see corpses, and they're not all just missing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just meow? <laughs> Closure. <laughs> Definitely uh, not. Oh, okay, good. Um... Uh, Alumfa, you try to find sleep as well, and then every time you lay down, something strange happens. Geralt's spirit blade flies to you and lays itself on the ground 
everywhere you try to lay down. It puts its edge upwards, so you can't lay down or go to sleep. What is it, boy? Do you want to cuddle? <laughs> it's, a, it's a sword, it can't talk. <laughs> uh, but it continues Damn. the same behavior. Uh, I'm gonna... This is much too complex for me. I'm gonna wreck it. No, wait. Uh... Can I... I don't know... Do, like, a perception check or something? <laughs> you know what? It sounds like... How about give me an insight check? Oh... Okay! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> it's not a negative. Okay. Ten. Perfect. <laughs> so the the blade is clearly trying to stop you from going to sleep. Um, but thinking back, you know that uh, uh, Garo was one of the champions who was meant to protect. His whole thing was about protecting the tribe. And he was a paladin of uh, for the orcs. And so you, you get the idea that it's trying to save you from something. He was the champion of Ilneva, but his personality was that of definitely the one who watched over and kept people safe. So you get this so. is a, this is definitely some sort of message of the hopefully the right thing to do. So, I think okay, I need to stay up then, but then should I protect everyone else? So. When I go check on the others. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, so as you, you kind of walk through um, in the night, you see everybody's safe and sleeping. You could have sworn you saw Zephyr's eyes open for a second, but you weren't exactly sure. Uh, it was a little too dark to tell. But everybody you check on is safe and sleeping. Go and mark a point of exhaustion uh, for not sleeping. And then... Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, did I get one for the unrestful sleep or no? Yes, yeah, you have a point of exhaustion as well. Yeah, that's bad for you. Yeah, yeah level that's three, bad. that's not good. <laughs> um, yeah, I did it in D&D Beyond. Like, if I get any more exhausted, my hit point maximum is halved, my speed is reduced to zero, and then death. Yeah, you are currently at disability, uh, di Whoa. disability, disadvantage Ooh. on all ability checks, your speed is halved, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. You need to be extremely careful. All right. With that, we're going to take a small break, because I need to be so bad, I'll be right back, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That bitch is sleeping! How dare. I know, I know, I know, right? Really? Yeah, right, don't, don't get bio breaks. That's not how any of that works. I'll be right back! <laughs>
tired. But I you have that spell slot left. Oh, yeah. yeah, you didn't get any spell I slots back. I have one left. I have <laughs> one left, so I'm trying I to figure out what I want to... <laughs> um, right. I would totally take off Welcome that back. Fuck. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Pests without a trace can bite the dust. Well, you can oh. cast it through your staff anyway, so you should never prepare that one. What? Yeah. Your staff of the Woodlands, you can <laughs> cast that for free. It has ten charges. You can do that for free, basically, every That's day. That's right. Cast without a yeah, trace. Yeah, it doesn't even affect the charges. It's literally just a cantrip through that staff. Yeah, it's for free. Oh! Right. I, <laughs> I got it as a druid at level four. That's some good DMing. All right. So, especially since I didn't remember it, so you know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the rest of you awaken at the restful night's sleep. Uh, most of you are very comfortable from. Go ahead and mark a long rest. And, uh, yeah. uh, I come downstairs and I look haggard as shit. <laughs> you know, right there, Zephyr. Hags under my eyes. No. I'm First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look if Mesnos looks equally as tired. Can just be <laughs> sitting in the kitchen already over a cup of coffee? <laughs> yes, yeah, you can. You as every one of you as you come down, uh, you see Ulum, uh, Ulumfa is still is just sitting there with a cup of coffee. When I get my breakfast, <laughs> when I get my breakfast, I'm gonna make just a small remark that Vicer looks good with his skin on. Yeah. That's weird. I've always thought so. <laughs> How does he look with it off? Great. Flayed? Flayed, you say? That what? checks out. Yeah. Uh, Vicer was was full like Viking angel, and where like his back and like all of his muscles had been pulled out and been like like he was a giant. Oh, blood eagle or whatever. Yeah, yeah. blood eagle. Yeah, blood eagle. It was, <laughs> it was gross. gross. <laughs> I don't know why I needed to tell you that was gross, but it's gross. <laughs> ah, I see you're Does using the Matt Mercer school short rest description. At least? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Does breakfast at least count as a short rest? Yes, yeah, you can still take a uh, short rest now that you've stopped trying to sleep, so you can use hit dice and everything to recover hit points. That goes for all of you. Um, I don't really need to, but yeah, I basically say, uh, yeah... I couldn't sleep at all last night, and I tried to take my sleeping drought, and I paralyzed myself. Oh my god. But Lord I didn't fall asleep. Uh, that's I'm horrifying. Known. I'm not feeling good. So we, Has anyone else had trouble? I saw all you dead. <clears throat> that's fun. Well, that what? I I literally couldn't sleep. My sword would not let me sleep. I know that sounds weird. Oh. What? But... What is your sword like? Is there anything special about it? It, it was, it was reminding me of the protectorate orc gods. So I went to check on all of you, but I don't know if it was just protecting me or what. But I didn't see anything wrong with anyone. But I couldn't sleep. Alright, so your sword's connected with the old gods. Um. So, is there anything that's connected that you own that might be connected to like a greater, you know, protective force or something? I mean, anything of nature is Sylvanas's right. guide, but I don't really have anything specific. I'm the only one making the connection. This dumb boy, boy. I'm thinking. If everybody that fell asleep couldn't sleep. I point at Uza because he's right. <laughs> Ah, uh, I got a thing! What was it? Uh, everybody everybody that went to sleep out, out in the snow couldn't sleep last night. Anybody else have bad dreams? Let's get that out of the way now. Anybody have bad dreams? I had a particularly lovely one. I just fine. <laughs> you were on frolicking with the unicorns in your dream. It was great. Yeah, it was <laughs> right. The Pegasi, Hurin was there, it was the tits. Okay, I've had enough of this, so I cast Greater Restoration on my ass. Perfect. Nice. To remove a level of exhaustion because I cannot afford to be this exhausted. Perfect. Go ahead and mark Who that could? spell slot. Uh oh. I have drained most of my spells, guys, but I. Does she look better? 
I'm you do. Still you, she 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 perks up a a little bit, but not like not like a whole ton. Like there's still visible exhaustion in giant bags under her eyes, like, but probably about like thirty three percent better. Exactly, almost exactly thirty three point three repeating better. <laughs> See, you're looking better already. A cup of coffee, a little spell. Let's just hope you guys can sleep tonight. Uh, what are we heading out? Also, did anybody have bad dreams? Uh, uh, Zephyr was fine. Or Zephyr, you didn't say you, no you didn't sleep. She couldn't Esnos. sleep. No, I. I didn't dream at all. Okay, and, and then, by Sarah, you said you were fine. Zarek, we just met, but how are your dreams, buddy? I don't know if you would... It was not a bad dream, it was just... I woke suddenly and then was able to sleep again for the okay, rest so... of the night. Okay. So like a weird one, maybe? Like, just... Like the trees or... Boobs or something like that? No judgment. <laughs> Ball had them. <laughs> Want to make sure... Because uh... I, I need to remind everyone... We're fighting the literal god of nightmares so if we're starting to have nightmares i feel like we need to talk about it that's fair it's more of a memory than a nightmare was that as you remember it now sorry what was that was the memory the same as as you remember it like now outside of the dream hmm. it was it's hard to say it's more Almost a memory of a dream. Well, that that does sound hard to explain. <laughs> As though it was a uh, a dream I've had before. Fair enough. Reoccurring dream, like you show up to Deja Dream with Wizard mm. Spell School in 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 your knickers. Deja Dream. I'll link it with an second bit of despair before I know the street. <laughs> God damn uh, I set it up and I'm still ashamed of myself. <laughs> Perfect. So, uh, as you guys go throughout your, your morning, um, you guys, uh, you get, you know, your usual breakfast and everything going, um, but you notice that there's a much better smell coming from Viser's room. As you see the butler kind of standing there with much more exotic, delicious food than the bank and everything that is provided. He's like, uh, if anyone just was interested, I was told to make everyone as comfortable as possible. And so uh, you notice that each and every one of you, one of your favorite things that you've ever eaten has been prepared. Pumpkin oh, seed! Yeah, I won't be offended. It's fine. Pumpkin seed. <laughs> perfect. You go and it's the perfectly roasted, perfectly spiced pumpkin seeds. Mm, guys, it's officially fall. <laughs> Bloodscale is using this moment to take more of the bacon from the original breakfast. Perfect, okay. <laughs> These, this is mine now. <laughs> I'm taking the quantity. I gotta load up. I didn't do. sleep well. I gotta load up. You gotta carbo load. <laughs> Only with bacon instead of carbs. <laughs> right, so, um, Protein load. Uh, it's on keto. <laughs> did, the, did the storm outside get worse? The storm outside is is it's about the same intensity but it is it is sounding freaking nasty outside it is it has gotten to the point where it is it is definitely it, it it's much worse than it was yesterday but about the same as it was last night when you went to bed three miles is not that far you probably make it there while everybody's shit Ooh, Akari! <laughs> Ooh, you know what? I should. No, it's already. Right. I'm gonna go. It's not I'm always Akari. Go. I mean, it could be though. Okay, that's she's no, usually it's not this active. It's Olhar. <laughs> He's just fucking with your brain, making you hear shit. <laughs> there definitely is a lot of light today. I'm just kind of right. taking my. What? Why are you taking my coffee, Zephyr? Back off! I, hey, there's plenty yeah. of coffee. Uh, there's probably oh, it's magic. You. It's magic coffee. You don't even have to make it. Like, give me the magic coffee. <laughs> okay, oh, cool. here you go. I'm gonna give her a empty cup. 
Do and, you have uh, chocolate-covered coffee beans? Of course I do. One mocha coming up with the chocolate-covered coffee beans. I and, need a uh, bag of those. Uh, it's really funny because, like, <laughs> sensing sensing some of your needs and with the instruction he was given, uh, you are basically given this thermos of mocha. It's 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 pretty decent size. You know you can't take the it out. The moment you leave the tent, it disappears. Yeah, you can't take it out <laughs> of the tent. But you do have a... Elsa, a don't cross the seal. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold you. It, it's exactly that. <laughs> that is solid. That was a solid reference. <laughs> well, well done. Well Thank done. you for that. Yes, I think we can uh, all just... I don't know what my favorite food is, but I'm eating a lot of it, and I am just slamming the... Like, I'm not even spiking so, my drink. I am just slamming coffee. Alright, so, and like, you know... Uh, you have, Slam and ham. It, it's ham made this, this really nice, like, it's it's this, this really delicious multigrain bread with a fresh honeycomb on top, and it's been just so lightly toasted, and just a little bit of, of, of toasting on the, on the honey as well, and it seems to be the perfect <coughs> thing right now. Just enough to, uh, to like, stick to the sides, but also sweet, and my thing is over explaining food as a DM, and I realize that, and I'm just gonna get through it, and we're gonna keep moving forward, so no, shut I up. love it, I love it, I was just gonna say it, I'm like, I'm I like, love I it when you do, do that. I can't oh, do it right now. It, it, in the small bits, it's fine. It's when you're describing a whole fucking meal for everybody and everything's different. Oh. Yeah, that's that's uh, when it's great. I had to stop that in in its tracks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's just one of those like sensor like sensory improv habit where you're just like, oh, I have this idea, and you just fucking roll. Yeah. All right, gotcha. So, okay. You can always nice. roll with my food. <laughs> oh yeah, I just don't, I yeah. just want to make sure everybody's having a good time. So. Oh, you're right. good. You're good. So, so, um, do you have a tick? Sorry, <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I, I what did you just you... say? Who am I? Where have I come from? Hello? Sorry, what? what? I'm just, I'm you just what? imagine the there just twitching. He, like, he's got a tick now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, a bad tick. Joke. Oh, Again, I thought you meant I'm like I had ticks. Yeah. I thought you meant I had ticks like in my house or something. I was like, no, there's nope. no ticks. What are you talking about? Nope, I'm up to oh, two bad jokes a night now, guys. Next <laughs> week, we might make it three. Hell yeah, it's okay. Stand by. <laughs> All right. Before we go... Blue, but that doesn't make me a tick. No, I'm just before, <laughs> before I leave the fortress, uh, <laughs> yes. like before I actually exit, somehow yeah. my clothes are magically patched, even though we were just fighting. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, there's been invisible tailors working on you as you ate. Oh, no, I didn't go into the tent, though. Oh, that's right. You have the the the, the self repairing suit. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I have a needle of mending, motherfucker. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah. <laughs> All that. right. <laughs> nice. Uh, do you? But you. So you just you just kind of release the the needle into the air, and it just starts. <laughs> this thread is summoned from uh, the. The beyond. The end of the needle and <laughs> sews so you up. All nice. Okay. Fantastic. Anybody have it's anything right else? Back in the breacher they'd like to do can i nap in the cart yeah. again um i'm gonna Fruity go outside <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna go outside and and start looking like i'm gonna open the door and uh do an arcana check actually see if i can still if i can sense any more perfect okay go ahead and make an arcana check Ooh. can i get advantage because uh, can i take 10 i don't know to, was that a thing still that's not a thing anymore no unfortunately right. not um but you know, ten like so, you kind of like kind of reach out and you you you're just trying to access this this you know this other sense that you have, and for the most part, everything feels normal. You don't really sense Honey. anything out of the there's there's not that otherworldly taste that just uh, foul. So I have a theory that might help with this. I think that you know, it, it, it looks <laughs> it looks like everything's connected to the, the darkness, right? Like, there's no real power for dreams during the day, or at least nightmares, right? Maybe? I mean, obviously we've all had those daytime nightmares, but it might have something to do with his power, where he has less of it because there's less nightmares happening during the day. Do you know what I'm saying? I think we might I don't know. We should keep an eye out for sure, but let's see if we can, like, just want to throw it out there so we can uh, note if it's true. Are we switching to the graveyard shift? Is that is that what you're suge suggesting? Well, I I'm just saying, like, pay attention just to the cycles of day and night and what we'd run into, because we might be able to, like, plan for the nights is all. We should definitely bunker down each time. I don't know. Just a thing to okay. think about, really. That's uh, a great okay. idea. Perfect. 
Yeah, I should stay I... outside of the cart so I can wake up. Oh, it is. Uh, no, Zephyr, just get <clears throat> some sleep. We'll 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 let you know if there's any. Uh, you should sleep as much as you can. You look. You look beat to death, trees. girl. We'll figure it out. If a tree comes up that's that's interesting enough, we'll let you know. If, All right. if we just wait ten minutes, I can talk to things too. I enjoyed that. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. So, um, and the the wind. Three is... miles north, shit gets weird. And, Three uh, miles north. Three miles north. Um, so as you guys exit. Um, your your warm, comfortable um, sleeping quarters. Every th the wind is biting. It is brutal. It is that you know eighty mile an hour wind where the snow, the light, fluffy snow, somehow hurts as it stings against your skin. Um, you guys kind of all pile into the uh, the carriage itself. Um, blood scale. Mesnos looks over. He's like, "Would you mind driving the horses? This is I wasn't built for this sort of thing." Nope. But Uza's going inside, so I take my bear cloak from Uza, I wrap it the fuck around Mesnos. I pull it down so he's looking out of the rubies instead. Perfect. Okay. And then so you and you and Mesnos It's red, but you can see. It is red for warmth, is it? Good trade. Can I use Alter Self to give myself seal blubber? Like I'm a seal seal fatty seal guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say yes, because I fucking love that idea. Uh, you guys all watch as Vicer gains like 50 pounds, because uh, he gained it everywhere. Just and it's just like in a second, too, where he's like, and Vicer, you're considerably more comfortable now. That's not so cold now. <laughs> and I, I could help drive the cart at least, and I like fucking saunter up like the cart awkwardly, like. <laughs> Like sit in the like in the front. <laughs> I put on my just have my Sarah turn himself into a gif. <laughs> no, 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 just, he's, a, he's a he's a big old boy. Just a, um, just a chunky guy with light hair on him. <laughs> like you know, seal oh, hair. Hell yeah, okay. seal. Rufus from Street. <laughs> <laughs> he's Bob from Tekken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Right, take so, those um, magic clothes, huh? <laughs> with that, uh, Mesnos will, will take that in a cue and he'll head back into the cart. And um, uh, Zephyr, you feel as uh, he comes into the cart, he kind of like. Whoa, makes I was not a... leading the horses. I was trying to get him out here with me because I can't lead horses. Oh, Viser, would you like to lead the horses? Why not even give him my cloak so he kept warm outside? <laughs> Oh yeah, but he doesn't have to now, so he's not, he's not, you have to you have to. So you see you see him hopping down. What would, is there anything you'd like you want to say? You can give me that back if you're not staying out here. Oh yes, of course. And he, he kind of hands you over your back cloak. And, <laughs> can I come back out now? You can't fly. It's windy as shit. That's fine. I just want to see things. I I I I can see things. That's like my job. I see things and I shoot things. And you guys yell at me when I shoot things. And you, I didn't yell at you when you shot me. You weren't con. I didn't shoot you. I didn't yell at you when I woke up with one of your arrows in my leg. <laughs> I didn't, you weren't con. I didn't. Who's that? Like, you gotta be careful about laying when the rest of us were there watching you. <laughs> I just was hoping for. Come out and wear the bear. Nice. Okay. That's right. Where right. the bed? <laughs> Perfect. So, I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye out. Perfect. So, I, so we'll we'll put all all three of you. Um, are you sitting on the front with everybody else? Or are you trying to like hang on to the back? Where where are you at? Who's I'm gonna there? I'm gonna try and hang out on top so I can top. get like okay. the most uninterrupted 360 view that I can. Perfect. <sighs> okay, so we'll have you we'll have you perched up on the top. Uh, go ahead and make. No, I guess you wouldn't be in front of that. You got nice claws and everything, so you, you're able to like kind of hold on to the top as as everything's going. You kind of like hunker down, pull your wings like around you, and then put the cloak on top of your wings. So you've got this kind of like little warmth cocoon over yourself as you as, as the you're just getting beat to crap by um, this this snowy weather. All those people that told us to fly south in the winter for bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Did Mesnos come inside? Yes, yeah, Mesnos comes inside, right. and you feel like um, you, your head's lifted up slightly as, as he kind of makes his, his lap a pillow for you, and he just kind of, like, uh, just starts stroking your hair, like, very calmingly. And, and, I just and curl he... around him, because he's cold, so I'm just going to lay on him. 
<laughs> oh yeah, and he's he's pretty warm. He's got that that you know demon warm bloodedness like you do, but kind of a little extra as well. So uh, you definitely get a lot of heat off of him as you, as you kind of cuddle up and um, uh, head on your way. Um, can I get a Constitution check from you, uh, Zephyr? I have a quick question. Yeah, absolutely. Is it Mesnos a bit better in the cold because he's bluish? Uh, he's better in like regular cold. This is kind of in a, a more yeah, no, no. Cold. I understand. I oh, understand. Yeah. Saving. I'm just making sure. Cold. Just a just a regular Constitution check. Oh, just click Constitution. Okay. I have a feeling if I didn't have Orn in my head, this cold would suck even for me. It would um, suck even for you without him. <laughs> I still have disadvantage on ability checks, so do I need to do it again? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I can do it one more time. Perfect, okay, good. Um, so, um, you got more than ten, that's all you needed, so good news there. Um, you were oh, able, oh, oh, oh. uh, you were able to, um, being able, you know, curled up in this safe place and, and the kind of gentle rocking of the, uh, the cart as you guys head through, you are able to finally fall asleep. Don't mark I... anything yet, but you are currently resting. I'm... Don't wake her up, guys! You may at least get a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will say you can mark a short rest if you like. So you'll get your wild shapes back at the very least. Okay, so what does short rest entail for... Just wild uh, shapes, right? Just wild no, shapes, no, wild none shapes. of your spells. Um, and you can use a hit die if you like. Okay, so I'm going to use hit die to recover then. Perfect. And so I'm going to double check our... Uh, Direction of movement with my uh, orb of direction. Okay. Um, yep. You are you are headed north, uh, slightly east, but that's to be expected a little bit, as you know the uh, you're gonna curve out a little bit and then move back in. But so the slight uh, eastern direction heading north is no big concern. You're you're right on track. Just right double checking. It's a it's a fucking it's a, the storm's weird. Absolutely. Uh, Perfect. All right. So. Um, Anybody want to do anything else before you all take off? I've done quite enough, thank you. Perfect. All right, um, uh, Vicer, can I get you to make an animal handling check at, at advantage, uh, since uh, they are your horses and you, you bought them and they were specifically told to follow your instruction? 13. Perfect. Not a problem. Oh, no, uh, best! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm like horses... bouncing like a bunch. <laughs> I buy people suits for this. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you guys start heading down. The the horses kind of just kind of like put their heads down and start <laughs> as they start heading forward into this. In it, this storm is I guess so they're not intense. like wild man. <laughs> no, no, no. They're 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 trained for this sort of thing, and so as you continue to move forward, the storm is is intense you can see about 30 feet ahead uh can i get a perception check from i'd say since you said you'd look out let's get it from uza bum, bum. 21 okay uh <laughs> thank god i've got reliable a... talent <laughs> vicera can i get a perception check uh normal disadvantage just regular, regular. Okay, so... Um, uh, perceptive as always. <laughs> uh, Uza, you notice that um, Viser has started to go a little bit off of the uh, off of the, the trail. It's almost completely hidden in snow, but you can barely make out the traces of it. And so you kind of lean over and let Viser know to pull a little bit to the right. And Viser, as he points it out, you do see, oh, yeah, no, you were going a little bit off there. Um, I let's overcorrect. Oh, God, Matt, no, pull, just up, pull up, pull <laughs> up. And then uh, uh, Blitzkill, you know that was one of the... Uh, the things, the drop-offs that was warned, you were warned of uh, from the uh, your bear spirit. So, um, you guys continue on. Uh, can I get another perception check from both uh, Vicer and Uza? Hey, there's some pretty bad drop-offs in some spots. They're kind of hidden by the trees, so just try hard not to. I can't Tonight. see anything. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you, it's really, really difficult to see through this. But uh, Uza, you help with a twenty-three. Yeah, you, you help kind of guide them. There, there are a couple I, more. Uh, that come I up, offer. But you... Oh no! Okay, yeah, never mind. I realized I can't offer Uza the reins. Can I? Um, Uza would have to make an animal handling <laughs> check, but you definitely could. Do you have any training in animal handling, Uza? I, I mean, I have a plus three, but I've actually never dealt with horses, so I can certainly try. 
That's alright, we'll be fine. I'm gonna just okay. steal the horses here. As long as you keep an eye out, we'll be fine. Right, one so of us, as long as one of us keeps an eye out. With a, with a yeah, 23... Team. <laughs> no, no, you finished that song. I like that song. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, as you guys continue, though, um, you know kind of what to look for now, and so you, you're able to help dodge these very dangerous pitfalls that would have been really bad for everybody. But you guys make it through. Nice job. Um, hey. And so, Yay. it's uh, as you all are traveling, um, you do see um, along the side of the road, uh, there's these large figures they are very tall we're talking like 23 feet tall and there seem to be four of them standing and you see above them there's a small cliff and somebody standing on top of it the same size I'm going to give you guys an idea of what you're looking at oh, oh, the windows, shit. you can oh, see oh, these oh, gigantic quite large, figures quite large. Are we headed oh, straight for them, or are we just kind of skirting around them? So, you guys are currently on the road, so the road is kind of like here. Gotcha. Uh, just snowed over, um, but they seem to be standing all around, and um, it's at this point, Bloodscale, you realize you're getting to about three miles. Oh, dicks. I'm gonna wave at them. Hi! So Don't, you see... Uh, Two of them. I mean, it's not like they're not going to see us. I'm trying they're to make the storm. Oh. Two of them nod to you as you wave. Oh. The, the okay. figure on the hill seems entirely involved in something that they're doing. But two of the larger ones that are standing, you see two take defensive stance. And uh, the other two just kind of give you a nice nod, their beards whipping around in the wind around you. Um, I'm gonna yell out in Aaron. Good morning! For the love of God, Uzo, we're just trying to get past them. Why are you drawing so much attention to us? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, if we're not too far from the Great Eerie, they might know the other Aarakocra. So and I hope they're on really good terms with them. <laughs> That's just what I was thinking, yeah. So, as, <laughs> as you yell out in Auron, um, they don't seem to know exactly. They, they look confused, and one of them kind of, like, gives you just this sweeping come this way. No, you, Mir. Uh, this, should we go talk to them? They might be able to let the storm hold off or know what this point, Hold on. Okay. Does anybody speak giant? No, but okay. I am knocking on the side seen. of the cart lightly. <laughs> As yes, you can you can speak a lot of things when you want oh. to, right? Absolutely. Uh, and he kind of like crawls out, and you see he he looks over, and he's like, uh, and and you guys see he just kind of closes his eyes for a second, and he, and he touches his forehead, casting a spell, and he's just like, Gushnalaf Nantalavutoya. And you hear from the, the ma these giants just, Oof, no, no, tush, nalava. And then Mesnos looks to you, he's like, They say one of theirs is been taken. They need help. Do you trust him? Yeah, Mesnos looks back and he's like, Oof, no, no, tush, nalava. And then the echoing reply, Kufush, no, kachala. He says, as long as we do not walk against the storm, then we should be okay. You cut out. Uh, he says, as long as we do not stand against the storm, we should be okay. Okay, I mean... Can I throw an insight check for Mez to make sure that he actually believes them? Uh, this is more of his NPC nature, so not really, cool. unfortunately. No, that's fine. Uh, did we, did Mesnos, they need help? Mesnos does seem to believe them and that they do need help. <laughs> do you speak common? <laughs> we do speak common. <laughs> uh. Who's a 
It builds yeah. a good rapport uh, if you if you come to them on their own terms. Yeah, no, I I don't. But yeah, now that we know that they can speak common, we can talk to them normally. Okay. Do you guys want to go talk to them? Uh, I mean, I kind of want to go talk to them. Uh, Let's scale just hops off the cart and starts walking because he doesn't want to okay. pull the entire cart off the trail. I'm gonna waddle with blood scale wrapped up in my bear cloak still. Perfect. Uh, I will put him it? on my shoulders because even even with exhaustion, I could pick up this bird man. Absolutely. <laughs> he, he weighs. Hello, bird bones. Nothing. Perfect. So um. So uh. Let me see. Vicer, go ahead and make a history check for me. Ten. Okay. Uh, just um, garbage rolls all day from me. Sorry, Look at this. No. <laughs> uh, so, life be like that. <laughs> you, do, you do not recall anything about um, storm giants, but um, can can I look at Vicer and just kind of give him the like like come come, come on. Let's, let's, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna get into the earpiece like. You're the face! I fucking waddle out. <laughs> <laughs> Te technically, uh, Mesnos can go back in the cart. Gonna get Excellent. Pulled. And he'll go back into the cart. Uh, anybody else going waddle with up. the uh, speaking party? <laughs> I should be unconscious. If I'm you're, not, I'm gonna be angry. No, you're still asleep at this point. You haven't really out, told anybody else what's really going on. Uh, I I hit the earpiece and go. Uh, and Mesnos uh, uh, and Ulu both have them, right? Uh, Ulu does not. Mesnos at least. No, Mes has. Mes is the only one that has uh, one. Mes and I, I just have a wake on. Aside from me, Mesnos, Mesnos I set out the wake. Uh, Mesnos will fill everybody else on what's going on if you want to come with. Oh, who am I kidding? Fast a coward. He would not go with you. <laughs> He's cold. He's in the cart. It's cold. Like, yeah, I was gonna say shit. he would put up with any sort of discomfort. <laughs> nay, nay. Okay. So, uh, Ulu, are you going? <laughs> I say. As Eric, you're staying behind. I see. Failing uh, to nap. Yes, it cold. I don't know. I like how he stepped out first. Are you sleeping though. in the carriage um, too? Yeah. No. Oh, let's see what's going on. Sorry, I, I said I'm failing to nap. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go with them. <laughs> So, uh, when, you guys, somebody. when you all get about here, I assume this is kind of the formation I had in mind. Does that make sense? Or do you guys want to... You can adjust it whenever <laughs> you like. Fine. I think blood scales uh, in the front. Blood scales in front? Okay. I was like, I feel like I should switch places with, I don't know, Vicer. Who's is literally ones, on my so. shoulder, so he's technically at the same point I am. Okay, perfect. And then so I'll we'll just do... be between... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. That's I'm nice. helping. And so, <laughs> as as you walk up to this this storm giant who's beckoned you over, he just looks down. And he's like, "There is something wrong with one of ours above. No, you healing or medicine." Uh, Amen, brother. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We got a we got a healer who's very Actually, adamant about being the healer. Actually, he can, yeah. Uh, hopefully, at least we she, do also have a I, druid, but she is very tired. Absolutely. That is. Would, do you, uh, would you mind telling us what's wrong with her, uh, your 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 person? Yes, they are one of the quintessence, one of the blessed of the storm giants. They seem to have a, a plant or tree of some sort growing out of them. God. Uh, oh, really. Now you gotta wake the druid. All right, so this is a. Uh, oh, all right, we've we've heard of something like what you've experienced. I mean, we've we've experienced something like what you're describing. But um, our, our people can't um, work very well in this cold. Is there any way we can set up some sort of, like, magical... Or, or if I set up a tent, do you think you could bring her in? Um, do you feel safe doing that? Can she be moved? She is rooted to the ground. 
Okay, that's gonna make we things will a little harder. Surround you to reduce the wind as much as possible. We are large. Okay, I'm gonna give you fair warning right now. Mm. And I I unstow the axe off of my back, but very slowly. Okay. The last time this yeah. happened! Things this thing crazy. effectively absorbed a bunch of the tree. Well, that's right. Anything I had, I had to, I had to physically embed this into the person who was a child, unfortunately. Now that was scary. Yeah, you bet. I'm just letting you know that if I have to do that again, don't. Yeah. Bitch slapped me off the mountain. I'm literally yeah, still was, trying to help. Kid was fine, by the way. Kid was fine, by the yes. way. Yes, like and he still arm has his him. arm. Yeah. And, uh, his arm, he has his life, he has his brother. So with that, doing these, good. the storm giant kind of kneels before you and uh, kind of almost gets as close as he can to uh, eye height with you. And he's just like, we did not come to save a life. We have come to stop this chaos. The storm must have a purpose, and this storm does not. It stands okay. against us. And what if we do save the life? Oh, we thought less better. Bonus? Okay, bonus. I like bonus. Hey, uh, I guess you I'll guys. No, I'll sorry, Vice. Go, go the for card. it. I'll be right back. <laughs> My bottle over to go get the card. <laughs> Okay. Do you guys have any healing on you? We have not come prepared for healing. We had not known that it was one of our own causing this I disruption. Mean, but do you have potions? Because honestly, pouring potions on it while this is happening will help. We I have uh, nothing of the sort available. I set up my tent and lead the horse. Okay, you you said you set up your your tent and lead the the horses into it. Digging through the bag because I remembered I bought a bunch. Um, actually, I'll have yeah, I'll just have them drive the whole carriage into the into the the tent. Uh, and I let um I let the party in there let know what's going on with the tree, and then waddle back over to join Bloodscale. <laughs> I I pull out and put in the snow one superior, three regulars and two graders. Okay. I had a go, shit ton. go and mark those as as. Oh no! I'm just I'm demonstrating. I'm de I'm not like leaving. Okay, I'm right. demonstrating. Oh goddamn! Hold on one second. These a are small, but they will be appreciated. Well, we're we're probably gonna help as much as we can. I'm just putting this out so we can see what resources we have to try to get this tree fixed. Excellent. How long? Is, how late in the day is it? Uh, it's not too late. It's only about. Um, it's hard to tell because the sun's behind the clouds and everything. But you haven't been traveling too long. It's like 11 a.m. Okay. So uh, I'll start. Like I have all my healing do. hands. I think what we need to yes. do is try and just stave off it from getting worse until Zephyr wakes up. I think she's the only one of us who can heal this thing enough to actually save the giant. And I think that 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 axe thing was really good, right? Like we should stand by just in case we have to kill her and we, well, if we can't. But... I'm not actually sure I have to do that with the fact that and he holds up his bracer. This fucker's bone is now in this. You think that'll help? It's literally the color of magic. Well, I mean, what they mean is like if we can't if we can't slow it down, if it starts to really like eat her or something goes south. I mean, you should stand by ready to kill her. Is what I mean. This was, I mean, really what I mean. And your axe seems like the only thing that could really fuck up this tree thing. Am I right? Hey, I like think I should. See? How far away are is the is the afflicted? This just room? above this no she's she's standing at the ridge trying to do something um, she seems to be huh? huddled around something so he puts out his hand his giant hand which can fit about well, two I just, of you I just need a oh. distance at the moment how far uh, distance about 60 feet 
Or no, uh, 75 feet. Can you just get me within 30 feet right quick? Yes. Step into my hand. I'll go with I, you I, when I, I pick up the bottles and shoot. <laughs> I pick up the bottles again. I'm like, Uza, take these. So, yep, uh, uh, take them. Perfect. And then he picks you up and he places you up on this, this upper cliff. Uh, you see um, there is this giant woman. Uh, she is a little more purple in skin, but their, their skin is more closer to like this this gray blue and then uh, she uh, she looks down her eyes is they have a like this orange glow to them and she's like have you i have been listening i hope you are able to help and then i cast my once a day detect magic perfect okay so um is it ritual no, it's not. No, I got it. I remember from the remember. Feywild stuff. So, um, as you cast your, your detect magic, she glows with magic. She has several magical items on her, mainly a pouch to her, uh, attached on her hip. Um, but then in front of you, you see. I'm just looking mostly at the tree. <laughs> there is this tree, and um, it'll it's available for the the picture in. Uh, your uh, the journal and the notes and everything. You see, most of the skin and flesh has been eaten away. As this, the tree has worked its way up, almost as vine-like, up into this body, whose arms are crossed around themselves. The hands, all the way to well past Out. the wrist, turned completely into skeleton. The skull is visible completely, almost all flesh gone. Only. <laughs> vines and growth tra trace out where the face and ears and stuff must have been. This is giant. It stands a good 38 feet tall, even just standing. Oh. How advanced is the decay in comparison to the last time we saw something like this? So, last time they were severely um, pulled in, but they still had skin over their bones. This looks much more advanced. I'm not sure we can save this one. We could try! Uh, yeah, I, I, this looks this looks like a done deal here. <laughs> Lady, well, we weren't I don't sure know that we could name. save him last time. That's true, that's true. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not there. I'm down. I know. <laughs> you could have been if you wanted to. Why? <laughs> can I fly up there? I thought the storm was too intense. We can say you're I mean, if I could go... Well, you could just okay. get lifted. I mean, it's yeah, I was gonna say, he could, pretty he easy could lifting. Just, he could have just picked you up if you wanted to. Um, so we, we can say my turn, my turn. <clears throat> okay. Oh. 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 Ula, oh. do you want up here, too? Okay, cool. Uh, the giant lady, whose name I do not know, but I am trying I am, not to be disrespectful. I am Kayala. <laughs> Kayala... Do you have healing? I do not have any healing available to me, unfortunately. And I do not believe it would be of any help. I've tried to relieve this individual of their suffering, unfortunately, <laughs> without success. Do I we will, know who this individual was? I will demonstrate. And with that, she flicks her hand down and all of a sudden you hear this crack of lightning as it forms this l this blade in her hand and it seems like the lightning is contained in this sword as she just slices across the form of the tree and you see it goes straight through. And then she brings it down again and then it holds on one side almost as if there's something stopping. And then she releases her hand and it's... Alright. This, this is gonna suck for me, I have a feeling. I have a feeling this is gonna be bad, yeah. Uh, Who's a, can I touch your bow real quick? And I'm also gonna give you guidance. I'm not doing anything yet, so I wanna bother. Oh, okay, well let me know. It only lasts a minute. This might be another thing where we might want to wait until our healer is ready to go. I don't know if we can risk it, but if we can, I think it would be better. I don't know if we're trying to heal this thing as much as... No, I as... mean for, for a blood scale. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I've got, I've got a Cotty's boon. It's gonna help. That that'll give me. We're gonna blood scale. How I can long heal do you him for like one fifth of his health. Bay? What's that? I'm talking to the lady again. How long do you think you can keep this at bay? 
I am not keeping it at bay. It is doing everything it wishes. I don't think we have time then to wait for. All right, Uzi, you ready to stuff him full oh, of potions? Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Uzi, can I touch your bow? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I pull the blue back. The blue is one. I need. With you. I need down. Real quick, I promise. Giant dude, I don't know your name either. I'm sorry. Can you let me down? I am I'll... Korereth. And he pulls you down. Gareth? Korereth. Korereth. Oh, that's going to be hard. I'm going to try. Yeah. I've already forgotten the lady's name. It's okay. <laughs> names names are bad for me. Forgetting name. It's all right. And I'm, I'm just—I'm yeah. walking into the tent to find sleeping Zephyr, so I can just touch her staff. <laughs> Perfect. I hope you're not actively talking to the to him right now. You feel Chenoff once again in your presence. I don't—I don't know if this is the right move, but I think it'd be best if everybody was in my head for this. All right, I need backup. Correra. <laughs> Very well. And he pulls you up. Thank you kindly. Just nods. Kayla. I'm gonna try yes. something and it's gonna be probably stupid. Is there anything I can help with? Hey, do you have any way of making it harder for me to pass out? She thinks for a second. I am sorry. That is not something within my power. I thought so. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna ready I'm just gonna. Him. I'm gonna lean over and I'm just gonna touch him on the back. Bless. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Blood scale. If it gets too crazy, I can <laughs> banish it or you. Just yell, and I'll, I'm ready. Uh, if, if you see me fall, unconscious, it, please. Thank you. Right. You've got it. Alright. Got your bless. Got your banish. Uh, who's You've everybody got one minute with to go. either guidance or potions? I'll, I'll do potions because this is concentration. Also, hurry up. You've got like 45 seconds. <laughs> Since it's already decayed and we're not really going to be able to save it, I am just going to bury that fucking axe into it. Go ahead and roll. I'm going to rage, and then I'm going to bury that fucking axe into okay, Perfect. Uh, it is a non-moving entity, so go ahead and roll and attack with advantage. Plus a d4! Don't forget to match d4, Pookie. <laughs> Don't forget to bring your boss! That's a roll at advantage. All right, then add that d4. So, uh... 20! 20? 20. So as you, you pull back... <laughs> You go to hit and it's it glances off the side. You leave a small splinter in the wood. I'm just rage swinging until it gets embedded, so I mean... Make another attack. Are you a lumberjack and you're okay? <laughs> I sleep all night and I work all day. Uh, max 19, I think it would be similar. Again. <laughs> Couldn't roll another one. Perfect. That's 27! 25 nice. is, is what you needed, so very nice. Uh, so, uh, as you, you, you hit into this, uh, you just hear, you just feel... And as, as it, it gets in, you just see the small... As you, you cut through the wood and into the flesh, and you hit right about where the... You think like the liver might be, uh, is, is one of the higher points you could reach, and then you see this black ichor kind of fall out and then be pulled into the blade and you see as the axe pulls and pulls and pulls you feel just this small spark inside of you and the rest of you see uh, as the, the storm ahead starts to whip into a frenzy I need a dexterity saving throw from everybody who's not in the tent Yay! Is that an axe boy? Everybody. 
Do I see this? Is there yes. a thing I can see? Yeah, you can have advantage on this because it is. you can see this coming. I need to check one thing first. Sure. Is... Oof. <laughs> Alright, I do not have disadvantage on saving throws yet. Not yet, no. Ability checks yet. I am also blessed still. Yep, go ahead and roll that. D, that's a D4. Oh. Uh, D4, definitely, definitely D4. Good, I'm gonna it's need a D4, it. definitely a D4. Good, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Ulu and um, Bloodscale, lightning strikes out from the sky, and you take 31 points of lightning damage. Those of you who dodge, you Ooh. take half damage of 15. I'm, uh, reduced I'll again take no damage. Armor. Oh, yeah, no damage. Uh, I'm only gonna take 15 because I raged up like a smart boy. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you take half. And also, uh, Vicer, you have evasion as well, right? Oh, God. Oh, I don't Just, just take a 15 for now. I don't remember, actually. So. <laughs> um, perfect. So, uh, That'd be under my feats and traits? Where would I find that if I did have it? Oh, it was Probably not, yeah. like, disengage. I know I got that. You have the cunning action, which I don't uh, believe covers that, actually. Okay, that's what I thought. So, uh, let me take a look. Rogue cunning action... No, you you can. No, it's its you, own thing. Yeah, it's its own thing. So yeah, you take the the the, the full fifteen. All right, and then um, so as you guys are, are you you look up to the sky and you see the storm kind of focusing above and then just the strikeouts uh, everywhere. Just and you guys kind I of used... dodge around. You see the uh, the the storm can giants I... reaching out their hands trying to catch the lightning as it's in, in this whole area around you. Go ahead. I uh, hit my earpiece and I yell Mesnos uh, that we're at, like, alert red, get everyone up, get everyone ready, shit's about to hit the fan. Perfect, and then, uh, so, uh, Mesnos... However, when he says that through the earpiece, I'm going to yell, let Zephyr sleep. <laughs> Mesnos is currently on a separate plane of existence through the tent. He cannot hear you. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Um... So with that, uh, you feel the uh, lightning surging in through your hands, similar to when you felt when you were you were plunging your axe into the Bahir. I need a Constitution saving throw from you, Bloodscale. Did we not hear the lightning crash outside? You heard nothing. That's part of the tent. You can hear nothing outside. It's beautiful for sleeping. Bad for these sort of things. Try and get horses some more because I'm sleep. Okay, eight. Um, you take another 29 points of uh, electric damage. Uh, halved halved to, if it's electric. Uh, halved to 14. Um, and then, uh, does anyone want to change anything that they're doing at this point? I'm considering this one full round of stuff that's happening. I literally can't, so. Sorry. Uh, um. Uh, sorry, I'm looking to see if they're. Sure. Dimension um, door without using, without sending my myself. Self from your current location. Oh, uh, I'm gonna ask by Sarah. Do you want me to go get them? No, absolutely. That'd be great. I'm gonna action dash bonus action dash flight. I don't know. Can I get in there and scream? And is that a free action? Is that gonna take a bonus action uh, action? You know what? Uh, make a dexterity check for me real quick. I can do that. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna use luck. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> oh, Ooh, oh, my luck is not that good. Uh, <laughs> so, um, as you, you, you kind of run and you instinctively go to jump and fly, um, you realize the weather and you're able to, um, glide. Uh, so it's okay. It was, it was a low, it was a low DC. It was actually 10. So you did beat it. Um, oh, okay. so, when he goes, I'm going to tell him to let Zephyr sleep. Perfect. So you do hear let, let, her, let Zephyr sleep, but, but you're able to, with just your, um, let's see, your action, dash, yeah, no, that'll get you right to the entrance where you can land, um, just by gliding through this this weather and, and, and kind of guiding yourself. Um, so I'll, that your action will get you there. You'll still have um, your movement and bonus action. Can okay, I I'm change? Just... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to stick my head in the tent, bring up the, the stone. Mesno, skip Zarek, but let Zephyr sleep. Blood scales, orders, and get the fuck out of here. Shit's going crazy. Perfect. Okay, so... And then uh, I'm going to he start heading back. 
or so you get Can I there. change my eyes during this? Yes. They're going bringing... blue. I'm getting zapped with lightning. They're going blue. You you feel the familiar presence of Shenoth, and then you, um, when you change to blue, um, make a wisdom check for me. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, this one, this one might be a disadvantage, boys. It is, yeah, because you're exhausted. Ten. Okay, that was wow. You guys are barely hitting these these super low DC. Uh, but uh, with the uh, with that, you do hear behind you. Ah, I've, a presence I've not felt in a while. Uh, inside the carriage, Zarek, you f you uh, see Blazna, you see uh, Mesnos. Look over, he's like Blaznos. 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 Basically, uh, fusion. Ha! <laughs> Mesnos looks to you, Zarek, and he's like, "They need our help." And then he's just going to gently lay um, Zephyr's head down and then jump out of the carriage and start running. Okay, I'm following. Okay, so we'll get you. I'll put you here, and then you're. You can run farther than he can, so you can get about there. Oh, actually, um, do you want to use your action to dash? Sure. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> let's do that. Get here, since, and then we'll get you there. Perfect. All right. So you guys get it, and then uh, as Zeta, as you ex exit the tent, the above the sky is going crazy. There are lightning strikes everywhere, uh, and you you uh, see the the storm giants all looking at something, and then one kind of kneels down and puts his hand out. And he's like, "Hurry! I think they need your help." And then um, it's at that point. Um, I need uh, everybody, uh, so Bloodscale, Viser, and Ulu, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Damn. Oh, boy. I'm glad I left. I had the wrong name, but you know the stats. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, uh, no way just, to at disadvantage, regular, name. anything? Regular. Okay. Strength? You said strength? Yep. So Air totem. Save it. Come on, boy! Damn. So, uh, Viser, as uh, this, uh, as you, you're standing there, so we're gonna put you guys kind of in a more proper place for for hitting this thing. So you're here, and then so um, Viser, as it blows, uh, as this this gust starts up, everybody stands their ground, and you see Bl Viser, Viser in his bloody form. He's he's trying to stand in and just, and you see kind of his belly and everything. He's kind of waving his arms as he's thrown backwards. Ironic that I make the deck save. Uh. <laughs> That's the fat boy. I have to say that bomber. I wobbled and fell over when that happened. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> rolled. And then uh, you roll and you you hit the um, the rock at the back and you take uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. I have to pee again. Oh my god, it's so bad. I'll be right back. Somebody somebody pimp DM and pour for me. I'll be right back. Oh my god. <laughs> Input. Do you Ooh, have a DM eat. who's knocking your fat ass across the snow for no fucking reason? Go to DM and pour <laughs> him! I'm just kidding. I'm not mad about that. That's pretty great. Oh DM my god, I thought uh, my beer was better. Yeah. If you need dice, if you need shirts, <laughs> if you need any DM stuff, hell, maybe you're just a player who's thought about being a DM, or maybe you have no interest in being a DM whatsoever. You just love D&D. &D. Go to DM Emporium. That's what it's If you for. do, use my code, canhas 10 k n s k a n h a s and I can You use Molly's code like a total, like, dweeb, or you can use my code like a champion, Mach 10 M-O-C-K-10. Yeah, and get 10 uh, no one who's a champion at Mach 10, okay? Like, oh, uh, hey, see, so you're never gonna win with a mic that breaks up like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, DM Emporium, Doc. Muting for, uh, you know what, never mind. It was too spicy, it was too spicy for the mic. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> the Scovels were off the, off the, really, charts. you just need to get over to DM Emporium because I you mean, can't really. clickety clackety roll to attackity without 20 sets of dice. Bada bing, bada boom. Is there enough dice in your life? The answer will never be yes. So once you've come to terms with that, visit DM Emporium and get yourself some new dice. Get a dice tower. Why are you rolling your dice yourself like some sort of fool? Get a tower. Drop them dice in the tower. Let it do all the work. I mean, exactly. It's a they tower. roll better. It's scientifically proven. Sixty yeah. percent of the time, it works every time. In our tests, which were conducted, Whew, we rolled once when hand and once through the tower, and the tower was better. That's objective science right there. So uh, DM Emporium. Check, check out 
Uh, what, I've been, been doing some science. Stuff. <laughs> also, keep an eye on DM Emporium because there's new stuff, exciting objective things happening there. Objective science. So yeah. As yeah, opposed to science. the um, subjective bullshit that you know what? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> something, something, <laughs> something. Dark side. Dark side. We're drifting. We're <laughs> drifting. All right. So. And to this point, you're blown back, and you sl slam into this the uh, the uh, the rock wall. Um, I can I can I come on and jam as a free action? <laughs> you can slam all you and welcome to the jam all you like. Uh, so <laughs> you just so you, you guys hear the smallest on? thing coming you from your your ring. <laughs> Must be jam because jelly don't <laughs> shake. Hey. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <laughs> so with that. Um, <laughs> What is going on? What is that? All right. What is this? Why this is off the cliff. <laughs> With that, your axe deep inside of this thing. What would you like to do, Bloodscale? I can. Cool. Well, I mean, I'm still gonna attempt to absorb whatever. Okay. Constitution saving throw. Can I also yell for Ooze to get his fucking ass back up here? Absolutely. I'm working on it! 13. Okay. Less. Oh, plus 3. 16. So That's much plus. Uh, so you only take 7 points of uh, electricity Add. damage, reduced to 3, um, while, while holding Does down... Does being blue do anything? Oh, yeah. that's That changed it. Um... So uh, it, it actually reduced the damage incoming. Uh, it, it, no, that's fine. I'm, it I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm I promise fine. you. I'm uh, fine so, with that one. <laughs> uh, with that, um, so you, you take the damage, and then you start, you just, your hands are starting to go numb, but you're holding on for now. Uh, and then uh, what is everybody else doing for this, this small round? I'm getting back up there. Uh, yeah, I, I get up and I I, I I behind a rock. Where's the the point of origin for this thing? Uh, it's this it just big everywhere? black smoking thing over here. I put it as a marker. I'm gonna pin myself against the wall here uh, with banishment ready. Um, uh, and I'm I'm yeah I'm gonna be. I'm, it's like, is there anything I can look at? Um, is any of where is no one's wearing anything reflective? Are they? <laughs> oh, not, uh, not particularly no. Oh, I definitely have a mirror on me. I I'm oil out of my muscles this morning, so. <laughs> All right, off the glistening <laughs> oil from her muscles, I'd like to just watch blood scale. <laughs> to see also, if he I... out. No, I'm just kidding. I have a mirror on me. I'm gonna pull out a mirror and uh, look around the corner. Okay. But I can see if, if Bloodscale needs me to banish anything. My my detect magic is still up for like the next bit. Uh, so I'm also trying to watch if the magic from the actual smoking thing looks like it's depleting. So um, the, the smoking thing is more kind of like um, a reference for you. What it looks like is... Uh, the I know, I know, the tree, the tree. Oh, no, what I was going to say is is coming out of it, um, there just does seem like uh, you can see above in the clouds, there's a funnel almost circling around it, touching down like over the top of it. Um, it does seem like it is farther away from the tree when you than when you originally started. Cool, I'm just going to... Nothing she keeps sucking, just gonna keep going. God damn it. <laughs> um, uh, Uza, you said you're still trying to get up there? Yep. Perfect. So you, I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna fly either. I'm just gonna be like, pick me up! Uh, so just going himself, crazy up there. I don't want to get blown off a cliff face. So uh, the, the two of you are, are pulled up. Uh, Zarek, I assume you start, you're start. you trying to get up there as well. I forgot to ask. Yep. Perfect. Okay, yeah. so you guys are are lifted for the action of the um, uh, that the the storm giant. So you guys are now up there in front of you. You do see, uh, and if you look in your notes, you can see the exact reference. But this skeletal form with all of these tree limbs and vines growing through it, and even out the top, uh, hands and and partially down the arms, just completely will worn away to skeleton. The head, just a skull but it does seem to be the center of this vortex of a storm. Is there anything you would like to do with your action or bonus action? I honestly don't know what I can do. You're a wizard. You got lots of spells. I'm just going to throw that out there. I uh, 
<laughs> not for this. <laughs> For the record, like, I like the trying of crazy shit, so if you see anything you think even remotely possible, let me know. Uh, uh, um, Uzo, <laughs> was there anything you'd like to try? Since you uh, have 38 I... spells to go through. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just trying to chop the shit out of this tree thing, right? Bloodscale is trying to with his axe, the same way he did with the other tree. Bloodscale Blood legitimately said axe. he's absorbing the magic out of this. Not that he's cutting it, that he's absorbing the magic out of it. Oh, that's right. Um, how fucked up does he look? Blood scale? Look yeah. More Slightly f- over half. Pretty. He okay, is- I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just give him a, like, good job, buddy. Keep it up and healing. You do notice that Viser's face is pretty bloody, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You walk as you walk last once. Vice, as you walk to Bloodscale, like you're headed over, you see uh, the chubby oh. form of, of Vicer, whose face, his nose is like a little, uh, he's just kind of bleeding a bit. He is looking pretty, he's looking much more. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna toss him the superior potion that Bloodscale gave me. Here you go. Uh, I, I, maybe the smaller one. I'll be okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. I actually don't know what potions he gave me. Do I have a greater? Uh, one superior, two greater, and three regular healing potions. I'm gonna give him two graders, and then I'm gonna go over and give him a regular. Oh, <laughs> well, so okay, here you go. Here's I mean, regular. <laughs> quick hands and then bonus. I hand back the two graders and take the take the one the, the, the po- I drink the regular uh, healing potion. Perfect. So uh, I think that's uh, so regular healing potion. Go ahead and um, do you do you know D4 the D four plus what's two roll? right? D four plus two. Is that what you said? Sorry, you're breaking up. D four plus two. Yeah, 2d4 2D. plus 2. Okay. And then, um, I'll, then actually oh. you can feed Bloodscale 1 as he stands against the storm. Oh, I was going to healing hands him. Oh, perfect. Yeah, go there ahead. Go. I can, and I can only do three of these at a time, so... Mm-hmm. Booyah! Booyah. And then uh, make a constitution saving throw. Uh. Since you're, you're touching the guy who's channeling lightning. Oh, shit. I'm resistant to lightning. That's good. Hey! Uh, so you take 12 points of electric uh, lightning damage. Ooh! Six. Does my armor. Yes. Yeah, reduced to six. Okay. And then I'll make a con save for my concentration. What are you concentrating on? Bless. Yes. Well, Bless. not anymore. No, you're not. Okay, Bless has worn off as you have taken some electricity to the face. All right, um... Anybody else doing anything this turn? Yeah, I have uh, protection from energy. So, who looks like they are the? Is it? I mean, of all these people, it seems like Bloodscale's most at risk right now. Bloodscale okay. is definitely, definitely the greatest at risk. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna cast protection fucking... from energy. Um, nice. For lightning. Perfect. Uh, go ahead and uh, click On the him. spell. Mark off your spell slot. And uh, you are now double resistant to lightning, so instead of half damage, you're going to be taking quarter damage. And here's the thing, <laughs> it's a touch skull. It touch is, you're going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Okie doke, here we go. Where's my con save? There you are. Perfect, so you only... Wow, these are rolling ridiculously high. Uh, so you take a... Uh, <laughs> must be nice. Two I rolled two ones and a two. Sure, blame well, it. Now you have to make another con save for the concentration. Twelve points oh, of, of. I do, but I have uh, advantage. On warcaster. Warcaster. Oh, yep. warcaster. Nice. So let's see. No nope. shift. There we go. Yeah, you maintain concentration like a champion. Yeah. Go me. Right. Now I'm gonna back off a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so it's at this point the body of the tree starts to dissipate into this swirling mass, and you hear the the giant next to you. No, stop! And she tries to reach out. And, but you see the body dissipate into the storm, pulled up into the storm itself. And I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. I can see this! <laughs> oh, jeez. Didn't see me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do I... 
Do I need to make one? I'm around the corner Everybody, there. I'm not yeah. sure. This is coming from the oh, sky. Okay. Coming from the sky? Mm hmm. Hiya! Hey. Fast as fuck, boy! Damn it. So, Bloodscale and Vicer. Zarek as well. Uh, you all take uh, 22 points of lightning damage and mark another level of exhaustion if you already have one or one point of exhaustion if you don't. What? Oh, Any question? Yes. Because I'm doubly resistant to electric damage? Oh yeah, you only take five points of lightning damage. Still the exhaustion? Yes, yeah, still the exhaustion. Where's the exhaustion counter on, on uh, roll 20? Oh, on roll, uh, roll 20? Or, uh, I'm, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, D right, beyond I'll, I'll its just... conditions. Okay. Uh, I think you have to read it. Let me pull okay. it up your, your sheet real quick. I think oh, you yeah, have to remember it on roll twenty. Um, you can mark it somewhere. I forgot where it is, but yeah, um, just it's marked. Marked. Okay, perfect. I have the the Beyond Twenty app, and it looks like it perfect. sent it. Yeah. It does. Yeah, which is nice. All right, so um, it's at this point the lightning strikes out at the three of you. The other, uh, the, all the rest of you are able to dodge out of the way. Oh, roll one for Mesnos. Mesnos didn't get picked up yet. He knows. Mesnos is still at the bottom outside. of the cliff. He's still outside, so he's he needs to make one. Fun. The, Poor the, boy. The thunder giant didn't catch it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yelling, roll them to get the fuck up here. <laughs> um, no, yeah, they wouldn't be able to to stop this one. This this is something that's new to them. It's not a naturally. They wouldn't know what to look for. I think it's all wonky. Dex save from. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna yell okay, at so them to come. He takes 22 as well, and, is, and takes one point of exhaustion. Fuck. I'm gonna yell at them to come try and block us from the lightning coming down at us. Perfect. Uh, roll a. No, they wouldn't be persuaded at this point. They're fully on your side. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh that god. Would've been, that would have been that would have been dumb as hell. Okay, so. Um, I can, like, I, I can persuade people, but damn. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Well, like, they, they have literally no reason not to help you because you're helping them. Like, okay. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just wouldn't make any storytelling sense. And as much as I love rolling dice, it doesn't make any sense. So, um, all right. At this point, uh, let's see. So all of them failed theirs as well. So are they taking damage as well? Can we tell? There, you see them take get hit by the lightning. They don't seem as bothered at it as it by uh, like you guys are because they they clearly have some innate resistance. But they are definitely taking damage. It's uh, at this point, as you yell this out, um, you f you hear just this this movement. As you see, this she steps um, over, and is kind of like sitting on this this giant ridge next to the body. She's she's standing over it, and she's kind of holding up her hands and pulling lightning towards her as it strikes down against you guys. Uh, these giants are going to move up and bring Mesnos with them and drop Mesnos here. And it's at this point, uh, they are all going to, they have these giant shields and they're going to try to form a canopy above you. So now you all uh, have like advantage. Like phalanx or something. Yeah, exactly. They're creating like basically a shield phalanx above you uh, with their, their shield. So now you have advantage on your dexterity saving throws against the lightning <laughs> attacks from whatever is happening. Uh, I hit my earpiece and I just let everyone know. Uh, I'm looking pretty rough. If I get struck again, I'm going to have to bail back to the, the, the uh, you know, the tent. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, you're, you're but I'm here until I can be. <laughs> then I, I retake okay. my position with the mirror so okay. I can see. All right. So it's at this point, uh, Bloodscale, your axe is left in is is no longer embedded in anything. as It's dissipated around you. Um, above you, the storm rages lightning and stuff crashing around what would you like to do is there still the obvious funnel there is still a funnel it is still seems to be focused on the same point i'm gonna move into the funnel and try to hold my axe up into it so you're standing right where the funnel is and holding your axe up okay and <laughs> i got a question if i can do yes. this while still attempting to absorb sure because there's lightning above. Yeah. And I'm currently attuned to blue. Mm hmm If I shoot my breath weapon directly up in the air to make a conduit make while still trying to absorb. Make an intelligence check at advantage because you are turned to blue whose element is lightning. 
Except it would be normal because of exhaustion. Sorry, buddy. Still a gun for me! <laughs> That's actually pretty good, actually. Uh, so, uh, but you're... <laughs> So that that thirteen, uh, you know that um, you you feel in the, the the back of your head. I will help you catch it. We will capture <laughs> my brother. All right, oh what shit! Are of, what are the rest of you doing? I real quick. I'm gonna jam all the remaining potions in Ula's arms. Feed this shit to him, and then I'm gonna cast bless on Bloodscale, Ula, and Viser. Perfect. Okay, everybody, mark down that you're blessed. That is my last spell slot. Perfect. Sorry, could you say that one more time? Uh, you're blessed. So you, Ula, and Bloodscale are all blessed. I didn't know it was going to be this big of a thing when I did the initial blessing. I probably should have done more than one person. <laughs> nice. Um, what does being blessed do? Is there a button? D4 um, to so, yeah. saving throws. D4 to saving throws. Perfect. In this scenario. Perfect, thank you. It does more, but in this scenario, saving throws is what you need to know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Anybody else doing anything? <laughs> um, I could... I could make... I, I'm um, so sorry, Jess. You are asleep. I apologize. No, my character needs it, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's still interesting. Yeah. I'm just looking at my attacks, I'm really saying, yeah, yeah. I'll cast a spell magic on it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm just I'm just standing oh. by, ready to banish. Uh, so, okay. if there's just a funnel now, it's no longer, like, the person, what, yeah, what do the, they look the thing like? Itself, the thing itself, uh, so what you guys saw is that uh, in just, uh, like, uh, a few seconds, it started to break apart and dissipate and was pulled up into the funnel, into the storm, and it's at that point okay. the storm gets much darker darker and that's when you guys got hit with this extra lightning that did crazier shit to you okay then i'm gonna i'm gonna ready uh banishment on blood scale instead perfect uh, okay. of the of the thing just in case he's all right um being melted i guess <laughs> with your current plan blood scale are you trying to dodge lightning if you see something no. above you okay honestly i'm trying to be hit by lightning at this point um, okay so I need to put a shield around you, cause like. And then, um. Oh, Who's never mind. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna cast shield on him. Um, that's for AC. Just it, AC. It, yeah, yeah. It, it Won't that help with the damage no. at all? No. No, these are these are saving throws to dodge out of the way of it. Um, it's happen. It's a naturally current, well, supernatally. But I also have phenomenon. protection from energy. <laughs> yeah, he's he's resistance because right I have now, the actually. blue and res like I I. I'm so resistant to this shit, guys. It's okay. Yeah, 20 okay. is reduced to 5. He's so resistant sort of shit. Yeah. Um, and then... Um, I'm not even at half, guys. Everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting so fucked up, I'm projecting. <laughs> like, here we go. <laughs> I, we're desperate, right? No. Uh, Uzo, <laughs> That's my face. A, <laughs> Uzo, no, just me. A, <laughs> just me. <laughs> uh, Uzo, can you make a dexterity saving throw at advantage? Sure. One and two. Ooh, thank God for the two. Come on. So, um, <laughs> uh, you see, as the the lightning strikes in, one of the uh, the storm giants manages to get his shield in the in uh, right above you. You see, he's moving it though, and so you just like you, instead of trying to predict lightning, you're like fuck it, and you just move with the shield, and you are able to. You hear lightning crack against, and you see his arm buckle for a second, and then he kind of looks down. And he's like, he just gives you this "I've got you" nod. Thank you. Blood scale. I uh, can't say true seeing. <clears throat> Absolutely. So true seeing. Um, oh. So you see where blood scale is standing. There is this ghostly, uh, almost like glowing projection of what the the being or whatever it is. This this amalgamation of creations is. The energy is there. But they, you know they'll be returning to that. But they are currently dispersed. Like they've they've taken their skull, their soul and everything that is them and scattered it to the winds. But they've left an anchor behind. Okay. Perfect. Uh, go ahead and, uh, yep, healing hands, bonus action, that's fine. Okay, I didn't or, want to... No, as your action, you can, you can bonus action as well. Yeah, it's... Thank you. Because it was an action to cast plus and then... So that yeah. is uh, 15, because of my uh, wisdom modifier of 3. Perfect. 
Perfect, thank you. And uh, as he was not struck by lightning, you don't take any damage. Good news. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to cast Wall of Force in a dome around this group. Is that concentration? Here. Mm-hmm. God damn it is. So you'll lose that. concentration on blood scales resistance, but you can do that. What would you prefer to do? Yeah, I'm going to keep that uh, the okay. resistance on. I think it seems more important that he survive this. Perfect. Being, you know, zappity sure. zapped right now, as far as I can see. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, they call it a, res- a reverse Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hold on, let me check. That was they. Something. You know. (laughs) You know, they. The colloquial them. Nope. That boy does not have anything that would help. (laughs) He's not going to mess no stuff yet. Yep. He's he's very specific in what he does, and this is not what he does. (laughs) All right, so... um, With that next round, are you still staying in... You muted there? Full Brent, are you muted? Okay, just making sure. Yeah, I'm okay, not. So you stood right in the the center of the funnel, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is where things are gonna get weird. Uh, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Plus four. Plus four. Yeah, still plus four. Plus D four. Do I really need it though? Do I? Do I? I mean, now it's just my normal roll. <laughs> you actually nice. did need it. Twenty-five was the. Best oh, oh, oh. Um, Talk so, to you. some next Let's level. Let's go win. <laughs> so it's at this point. Um, you feel the atmosphere around you crushing in against you, and and so you kind of like stand against it, and you just kind of like flex. You're like, no, I will fucking defeat you, motherfucker. And as uh, you are. All of a sudden, there's the the body of it reforms and it crushes around you, but but you're able to it squeezes you out and pushes you out the other side, and uh, and you take uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage as opposed to 28 uh, as the body Hi. formed around in that exact area. I'm looking a little little rough now. Just, just right. heads up. And so, uh, as it reforms, <laughs> as its movement, then uh, I need everybody, uh, yep, everybody, uh, to make a uh, strength saving throw. Oh. Uh, don't forget, uh, Ula, Vicer, and Bloodscale are blessed. Yep, add your, your d4s. Bloodscale, you're fine. I'm Zatter? gonna need it. Oh, shit. Uh, at normal yep. or disadvantage, or? Just straight roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, button. <laughs> oh. oh, damn it. All right, there Wait, it goes. On, uh, yeah, good boy, that extra D4 anymore. anyway. Roll that D4. Not enough. Okay. Okay. Five. Uh, uh, Ulu, strength. What was it's not my strong Ulu? suit. <laughs> uh, uh, Ule, I didn't get your strength save yet. Oh, I'm sorry. What? That's okay. Strength saving throw. I... <laughs> That's a default. Yeah, you're good. You don't even need Never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> Did I pass? <laughs> Yo, sh- shit. I, I thought I had to roll with disadvantage because I'm one level of exhausted, but now I'm seeing that that's only if mm-hmm. I'm three levels of exhausted. So you want exactly. me to re-roll or you just use the first one? Uh, I would just use your first roll, which was a two. Okay. So you are blasted off of the cliff and you draw Jamie. me. Sorry about that. Uh, you fall 20 feet, so you take 2d6 uh, bludgeoning damage. I, can I hit him with Featherfall? I'm hitting him with Featherfall. Yes, reaction. yeah, that's a reaction. Uh, so uh, do you just hit everybody you can, since it's five creatures, and there's six of you? <laughs> yeah, anyone who's, anyone who's been knocked off the cliff or... Perfect. So, I mean, you do oh, it really lasts for a minute, so yeah, I'll just hit as many people as I can with it. Perfect. So, just, hit every, you, just hit everybody but blood scale. You'll be fine. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. So, uh, as you, you cast this, you're flung backward. Luckily, um, the direction you're thrown into is straight into a storm giant who's going to catch you. So, you take less nice. damage. Uh, you only take six. Oh, max damage. Six points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, as you, Yay. As, as you're caught instead of slammed into rocks and he kind of pushes you back forward. Um, I believe. Oh, yeah. And then, Uza, you are shot backwards. 
And so right here, you are caught by the giant as well. Three points of bludgeoning damage, and then, um... Is that everybody? Oh, yeah, 20-foot drop, sorry. Uh, I made my concentration oh, no. check. Perfect. You make your concentration check, uh, but, um... Uh, What's a constitution save? Uh, yes, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's okay. for his concentration. Exotic. As you're blown off of the cliff, as you start to fall, you just feel yourself floating gently, and you're able to land perfectly on your feet, ready to, uh, if you wanted to, run back up the cliff. And so the storm giant's going to put you back down there as part of its reaction to catch you. It, did the storm giant catch Zarek or Uza? Mm -hmm. uh, it caught Uza, not Zarek. Okay, so Zarek shouldn't have taken the six points then? Zarek didn't take anything. Um, Vicer took the other fall. Points. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just because we rolled it. I was confused. Oh yeah, that that was for that was for Vicer because he got caught, only took one d six, and then. Um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Uza yeah. only took one d six. I good. was also confused, but that's Sorry. okay. <laughs> hey, so he, he, he shouldn't take that same amount of damage though, right? Zarek, Zarek took Zarek took no damage at all. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. Because feather fall. Yeah, you you feather fall him. Okay. He is, okay. He landed good. Gently like, and, and lovely. And I, he's good. I did a good. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. How high is this cliff? It's a twenty foot cliff. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to use my ring of jumping. Hell yeah. Jump up the cliff. <laughs> I love that. Just Mario your way back up. Boy! Yep. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> so you, you Mario yourself back up. Uh, what would you like to do? Do you have any actions or anything in mind? I honestly don't. Um, okay. A lot of what I have is reactionary. Uh, do I need to roll a uh, You didn't take any damage. Oh, but even getting knocked away didn't break my concentration i mean i'm not only, gonna argue if it did only only damage breaks <laughs> your concentration no the, the move and everything you're you're able to focus Fair on enough. because you know there's nothing violent enough to snap your mind out of that state um okay blood scale can i get you to make an attack against this to re-embed your axe yeah that's uh, a d4 you know what i'm gonna say though right reckless great weapon master not the great weapon master. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not, one. but I am doing the reckless. <laughs> Hell yeah! Ooh, add that default. Think it bounces off the the side of. Good thing I have two thing. attacks per fucking turn, huh? Yeah. Not matter. Did you want to use? Your, did you want to use one matter. of your? My luck, luck did not regenerate because I didn't sleep. Yeah, that's true. Huh? I thought you had one left. Okay. All right. Perfect. So uh, that both the test. Think. Okay, hold on. I Go have ahead. something that can. <laughs> bend <laughs> luck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna bend luck. Uh, on that. Oh, well, that helped. Keep... Bend it over that barrel. Well, one oh, wow. Do you guys think one d four will be worth it? I don't know. Uh, last right, time I needed a twenty five to hit it. Completely, so probably not. <laughs> Have it anyway. Uh, when a creature makes an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, you can use your reaction to spend two sorcery points to one d4 to apply the number rolled as a bonus or or penalty. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Uh, Sorry, that's probably not gonna at all. Well, uh, got all excited. Do you want to try it? Sure. Why not? Perfect. All right, so roll um, an extra uh, D4. Do I do it, or does he do it? I uh, will say uh, blood scale. Go ahead and roll, your, your, uh, roll another D4. Three. Perfect. That's what you needed. Uh, so that's oh. 23 on your first hit. That will hit. And then, Vicer, I need you to roll a D20. Oh, yeah. The consequences <laughs> of my actions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've come to haunt me once again. Suddenly a Tarasque. Oh, God. Hey, I rolled a three. Three. Um, the tech can get crushed. Um, okay, roll a D100. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. <laughs> I do. Why? Wow, that 
fun. I don't know. Something new. Destroyed. 46! So close. So close. Either 42 okay. or 47 would have been. It's okay. No, no. 46 is actually a really good one. Um, so, oh, hell yeah. Uh, as you, as you, uh, Vice, <laughs> you reach it out and you just, you're like, you can do it, you can hit it, and you just feel like this force of will behind this, and uh, the rest of you watch as, as Viserys just really concentrated <laughs> on sound like an out, electric guitar. <laughs> and, and he's like, come on, and he almost like mimics Bloodscale's attack, and you see uh, Viserys levitate into the air. Uh, you now have, uh, somehow, due to your oh, I've got that Super magic Saiyan stuff, energy. You have cast <laughs> Levitate on yourself. <laughs> so what a uh, terrible oof. time to do that! I grab onto the nearest uh, frost giant's armor. <laughs> I don't go. <laughs> you Wait, can, can I um, control my my yes, eyes or anything? You or cannot I will change your altitude by up to twenty feet in either direction on your turn. Okay. All right. Cool. So, so gonna, um, while you're gonna, in I'm the gonna, air, I'm gonna, you I'm gonna, have to I'm gonna just float pull. a little bit off the ground. No, I so, want to be yeah. grounded, right? If lightning, Perfect. yeah, I'm gonna be grounded. It'll be uh, actually with lightning. You don't want. Yeah, to actually. It oh, is then I will hover. The, if you are disconnected from the ground, you're circuit. much less likely to. Yeah, I knew it was one or the other. Damage. So I'm gonna float then, just in case. See if that <laughs> helps. <laughs> like I said, that was literally one of the best things I think you could have rolled at this point. Nice. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So uh, with that hit, go and roll the damage for um, your attack, Bloodskin. Sorry, I was admonishing a fat cat. Uh, oh, they needed. What'd you say? Uh, can I get uh, right, your Xavier, damage you've been admonished. For justice? Admonished by proxy. Fourteen. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and you're you get a you hit in the, almost the exact same spot this time, and it digs a little bit deeper, and you feel the as energy building up. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> Raffle smite because I actually have one of those left. Perfect. Roll the uh, the three D. Oh yeah. I think it was. I can't remember. Yeah, three D. I think it was three D. Okay. Roll three D. Like That's a non-moving object. This is easy. Well, shit. no, we had it at one D six originally, and then yeah. it leveled up twice. So I, I think know. we had let it stop at three D six. Three D six. Okay. Roll three D six. Yeah, fam. Yeah, Perfect. Another <laughs> nine points of damage as you, uh, as you see the. Oh wait a minute! You're attuned to electricity, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, as you you release the smite, we didn't into, have the. I don't think ahead. we had the smite do the element I was attuned to though. Not before it was upgraded to Spectrum's Justice. Okay. Uh, so you live and you learn. As you, you pour this electricity into it, you see the bark close almost a little bit around your axe as you hold it there. Actually, that might be a good thing. Yeah. All right. Can I hit it with immolation? Yeah, actually, your bend lux a reaction. Go ahead and, and uh, roll for immolation. Because it's uh, just it's the tree like, now, right? Yeah, and uh, you roll at advantage if you're making a ranged spell attack, so go ahead and roll at advantage. Am I, well, am I still right. sucking magic out of this thing? Yes, you are. Your hands, You feel the energy building up and your hands start to go numb. Right. I just realized, I know it's a piece of a bigger thing trying to draw itself together, and destroying it or absorbing it seems like an option. Okay. So okay. I'm going to hit it with it. I'm not late. telling you no. I'm just yeah, yeah, no, I'm just letting you know, like, why. Sure. Uh, anyway. Lation. It cannot make the dexterity saving throws because it's a fucking tree. Uh, yeah, no, 36. So um, as you reach out, um, blood scales, you, you're holding onto your axe. You hear this, you feel this <laughs> as fire wraps around. Um, and then, weirdly enough, the fire is also pulled into your axe. Does it still do damage to it or no? <laughs> Cool. I'll do All it right. again. <laughs> Just <laughs> screaming at the fucking universe while trying to kill this thing and absorb it. All right. Uh, we're I yell. I yell at everyone else to fire on it if they can. <laughs> Plus, Gale's yelling for Ulu to fucking give him a potion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, your potion for God's sake! <laughs> All right. And then I don't um, think I have any potions. Uzi gave you all the potions. Uzi oh. dumped them at your feet. You have a superior and two greater and. Two regular healing potions you can shove in my gullet. I don't want to touch 
Touch him. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna pour that... One of them on him. Perfect. Sorry, uh, down, in his mouth. Down the gullet. Um, uh, we'll say... Which one uh, of the gullet, generally? Uh, the, the big one? One of the slightly smaller ones? Or the <laughs> she like, pours the potion in her hand and then just like throws the water at him. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he can take it uh, orally, or... <laughs> oh, I could use Mage Hand. I mean, I... Potion no, I Suppository, anymore. that's an option, right? <laughs> I mean, it's Thank always you. an option. <laughs> How much life do you lack? They say the potion hits you I'm under half. If you... <laughs> he's, he's 59 out of 125. I am visibly bleeding. Everywhere. <laughs> I, I've seen blood before. I'm gonna but this one's him. this I'm blood is obviously me. my blood. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. I, I give him uh, one of the. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give him one of the smaller ones. Okay, so uh, just a standard healing potion or a greater. Uh, so there's standard greater and then Getting superior. Yelled at. Small, medium, or large. Okay. I'm giving him a superior healing potion. <laughs> okay, okay so that's perfect. The big boy. <laughs> Perfect. So, superior <laughs> healing potion. Or plus eight. I'm sorry, Bloodskull has to be dead before he asks for help, so that means things are, like, bad? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like all of eight, the bad right here. Yeah. Yep, Give him correct. the big one. <laughs> 29 <laughs> points recovered. Very nice. It's just me staring there, looking at the potions, going, uh, uh, <laughs> And my stare's like, Give him the big one! Fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! <laughs> That's funny on a lot of levels. Oh, okay. So, oh, um, beginning of the next round. So, at this point... I love um, the chubby Viser from behind a rock. Like, he's cowering behind a rock, just, like, screaming <laughs> with his, like, little mittens on or something. I don't know why I'm picturing mittens, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Give him the big self. one! <laughs> so, uh, at th it's at this point that uh, you see a sword form itself from lightning around it. And uh, Ulu does a 32 beat your AC. Oh, oh Jesus! Fudge! Uh, yeah, yeah, that that uh beats my AC like a drum. <laughs> Thirty points of of lightning damage, um, and then Ow. another one attacks out. I'm bloodied. I'm also visibly bleeding now. That's <laughs> one might say. <laughs> Wait, are these the storm giants uh, attacking us? No, nope, it's this, this is, thing. This thing, it's forming weapons out of the lightning and air around it. Uh, Uza, does a 24 oh. beat your light, your, um, your AC? Uh, yeah. So, 41 lightning damage reduced to 20, uh, from your armor. As uh, this lightning blade comes, use... flies over and slices you. Go ahead. Can I use luck to make that reroll? I don't see why not. Mark it says if I get point. hit with a, with an attack. Yep. Yeah, then mark Marked. off your luck point. Oh, man. I put the Skyrim AC. Exploration Suite on in the background. You guys just me. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it beats it. Fucking right. luck at some point is going but to I help But I think me. you get the damage Oh roll. my god, one day. Yeah, you can take off. Uh, I'll let you take, uh, let's see, 16 instead. Okay. I'm going to hold on for my, stand by for my constitution 16, save. That's not right. I can't make, I can't math right now. 19. 19 right. points. Yeah, you got evasion? Dodge, whatever that is. Nothing. Uh, uh, well, it's an attack, so dodge. nothing I can do about it. Okay. And then, um, oh, two... I can uncanny dodge it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Bada yeah. bing. Yeah. So you have that so... damage too. Half a nineteen, because I already marked everything off. Let's call it nine. Okay. Perfect. And then um... that makes your con save easier. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Uh, and then it's going to bus. use its, um, its wind javelin, uh, and then uh, one's going to be targeted at you, Uza, and then one over at um, Zadok, because you guys are both doing its uh, your spells. So uh, this unerringly hits, so 19 points of uh, piercing damage to um, both Uza and Zadok. Uh, so you both take 19 points of damage and make a constitution saving throw to maintain your concentration. Nope. Does does this Bless still look like? Oh, sorry. Um, oh, I have one more lucky point. Hey. You, you can use it if you like. Zadok, you maintain concentration. 
<laughs> Less is maintained. Uh, I'm helping. I'm doing cleric things this battle. I'm pretty uh, excited. Seeing seeing this thing with true sight, does it is it still corrupted? Is it still the the evil and whatnot coming into it? Oh, interesting. Actually, seeing this with true sight, you see that there is no soul, no anything left behind. It's almost as if there's like this magical battery almost being used, this power source that has been left behind and hollowed out and pulled out of what normally would be something to control and focus that energy. All right. So and this thing is physical, like we can attack it. Yes. Yeah, you right? can attack it. It's 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 yeah, you, you you've been. Atta yeah, you can definitely attack it. So I'm gonna yell that uh, that uh, it's it's an agent of chaos. Whatever the quintessence is 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 dead. Uh, we need to defeat this as fast as possible. And I'm gonna try and persuade the giants to start walloping on it. Excellent. Roll a uh, persuasion check. Can I get advantage since we're already friendly? Absolutely. Twenty-one. Oh, lucky. <laughs> All right, twenty-one. Yeah, that's what? really good. <laughs> Can Blutskill uh, yell no <laughs> lightning while this is happening? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, you, you can yell no lightning. lightning. So uh, the very closest one, he is going to do his um, multi-attack. So that means two of his great swords. So he's just going to start laying into this thing. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> True Holy seeing. Shit. Love 64 it. 64 points of slashing damage <laughs> coming out from that guy. Already uh, worth it. <laughs> Already more. It's like It's like doing a fireball. Now I could. Now it's gonna happen like five more times. Because uh, charisma is overpowered. <laughs> it truly is. All right. So with the oh, ten foot reach, this guy's gonna move up, and he is also gonna make his two. Hot damn! These guys are strong. <laughs> All right, and then um, so that'll end the the current round. Uh, unless there's anything else anybody else wanted to try or do. That lady behind him gonna attack? She can't do really anything with that's not elemental based, so she is standing by. Okay. Well, Menzos is probably gonna shoot blasts at it. Hell yeah, he would. Of would the Eldritch blasts. variety, because they're not elemental either. They are not. They're forced like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Ah, force spells. Would and that I mean that he uh... has three pews at this? He does. Remember? Roll Did Uza fire? Chunk them on. Two so hit. Two of the hit. Roll the damage. That's pretty good that. damage. For that point, that's pretty good damage. It's, it's not bad at all. Um, you also feel these uh, as they hit pull into your axe. Cool. I'm just fucking taking everything I can. <laughs> uh, it's at this point. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. All right, fam. Uh, what does a tank do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still blessed. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you are. Thank you for that shit. You only take 12 points of fire damage this time. Cool. Danger. That up on sucks you. for me. Sorry, buddy. All right. <laughs> can I um, yell no elements at this point? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire element. my bow if I can. Perfect. Uh, did you cast any spells or do anything? Yeah, you, you got turns. Never mind. I, yeah, you didn't do anything this round. Go ahead and fire. Okay. Yeah, I'm Sneak not sure attack. about the turn order still. So. Sneak attack would apply. Oh, no. Sweet! If I hit him. Roll it advantage, it is a stationary object. One. Oh, two. Oh my god. Come on. I just It's the Amazing. wind. It's, it's so, so cold. That's your, it's all your fingers, right? Oh, yeah. No, you it's did not hit at all. Oh, cool. uh, so you, you feel like like you're trying to... And then as you, you, you pull back and you're ready to fire, you swear to God, the, the head just shifts just a second. Just like, oh, fuck! And you fire off into the distance that you don't even know where the... Arena. It fucking moved! That's my turn. All right. Anybody else? <laughs> I used my turn to convince the giants, correct? That's correct, yeah. Ulu, did you want to fuck anything up? Since that's kind of your thing. Constantly. <laughs> please do! Hit the thing! Perfect. Although I am... I'm, please hit the thing. I will hit all the things. Maybe. At least I'll try. Try real <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> so... Right. 
Three attacks. I'm just gonna... All at advantage because it ain't moving. Oh. Oh my. Uh, just gonna try my stabbies. Perfect. <laughs> With the stabby. Uh, which stabby are you using? Long stabby, Jerk's Blessing. Perfect. Jarok. Alright, go ahead and roll your attacks. 31 will hit. Honey slash Jesus Christ. Next attack. Woo! 23 hits, 19 slashing. Jesus. Woohoo! Ooh. <laughs> 27. Yeah, that'll hit another 14 points of slashing. Jesus. Uh, so as you, uh, blood, uh, so uh, Ulu, as you you run up, you kind of like hop on the other side of blood scale, and you're just like shuk, 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 and these qu three quick strikes as you you take chunks off of this yeah. thing. Uh, you see like a lumberjack energy. Yeah, you 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 see like it's. Crossed I'm okay. Arms. Fun fact: uh, blood scale was actually a lumberjack at one point. It was. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Uh, oh. You see, you see, you you actually <laughs> chop off like a few fingers at this point. Is the these they fall off the hands as you're stabbing into this thing. All right. So at this point, mm -hmm. Bloodscale, you are you are fully latched onto this thing. I need a Constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Fun on a bun. It's a one. That'll do it. <gasps> no! Damn it, Bobby! Is there anything I can do? So you take Ooh. forty-nine points of Dude. fire damage. Directly through the the. I am the, still raging. That's still halved. Still halved. Yes. Yeah. No. So uh, twenty four, uh, yeah. as it as it flies up the handle to you, and at this point, the rest of you f see <sighs> the storm dissipate overhead, and that's where we're gonna go ahead and end. What is it still alive? It's still there. Hold on. Uh, the you see. I, I will give you this. Uh, you see, as the fire, uh, as you see this this fire energy kind of flow up into blood scales, he's trying to hold on. You see, you see blood scale holding on. You see, as, as he leans his head back, his eyes flash red for a second as the this tree thing itself starts to become engulfed in flames. The immolation still holding on to it. And as you see, it just starts to crumble in onto itself and falls to a pile of ash. Does well, the that, pile get absorbed in the axe? <laughs> also, true seeing. What does that mean, true seeing wise? Is there any additional information for the fun true seeing? True seeing, you see the energy that was standing there as the placeholder be dissipated out and is lost, but you see this weird kind of evocation magic pull itself from seemingly nowhere into the blade. Evocation magic. Yeah. Is that like demon summoning things? Uh, you know it's mostly summoning. associated with damage spells and summoning. Okay, so summoning. That's what I was. All right, cool. All right. Uh, with that, uh, we'd like to thank you, everybody, for watching this episode. episode. Uh, don't forget to check out our sponsors, DM Emporium, at dmemporium.com. Uh, Dot com! And we have uh, some sponsored streamers through Demon Emporium. Both uh, Molly Can has use Can has ten to get ten percent off your order, ten percent to build her amazingly wonderful channel. And then uh, don't forget Mockery of Life. Use Mockery or Mock Ten M O C K one zero to get ten percent off your order and ten percent to build the best uh, of people towards his Mach channel, 10. which also funds you know film projects and stuff for independents. So definitely take a look at those things and uh if you're needing some stuff uh, whether it be dice dice towers dice trays drinking horns a fucking tunic to wear to your next session dmemporium.com we've got you covered uh other than you that, have tunics we do yeah you should check that out you can you can get your freaking full-on link on uh and so uh with heck that, yes hell yeah uh, as always, if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, I, I was here at uh, on Twitter and stuff. I'll reply to pretty much everything. Whether you're, you're tweeting at DM Emporium at Emporium underscore DM or uh, to me personally at, at Hitchhiker of the Mind, uh, you know, I always am here to let you know what's kind of going on behind the scenes. Or if you're just like, how did you think of that? I'll tell you the weirdness where things came from i don't mind uh other than that uh, we hope you all had a beautiful time and we will catch you next week uh, anybody else got come anything coming up that uh you'd like to announce on stream um uh, yeah okay uh yeah actually for sure sorry i'm trying to make i'm arguing with molly in your chat right now and that's why <laughs> uh, <laughs> one. anyway what do you have to say Mark, go on you haven't won 
<laughs> yeah. Anyway, I fucked up my code, so I kind of did lose. But here's the thing. All right, so Friday night, uh, we're doing or Friday, we're doing Friday Film Club. It's Clash of the Titans this week, so we're gonna be talking Ray Harryhausen. We're gonna be talking stop motion animation and film history. Just as happy. Uh, yes, and then after that, thanks to the community uh, redeeming ten thousand points, which I'm super stoked on. Come on. We've been watching long enough to have ten thousand points. But like, uh, we're gonna be watching a killer killer elevator movie. It's called The Lift. It's like Eastern European. It's like really weird, and it's about a killer elevator. So uh, I've I've already <laughs> seen it, and I can say we're in for a treat, y'all. So uh, please, uh, it's Molly Can has is, is hosting it in her Discord. If you're in, if you, it's all it's all free. We're all just doing it. Whatever, just reach out, join the Discord. We're gonna have a grand old time. That'll be at seven o'clock. Right on. Is yeah. Clash of the Titans Friday? Yeah, Clash of the Titans is Friday. Okay. Oof. And then I'm after that, that we'll one. The movie Friday at four on the mockery of life. Friday, four to six, film club, seven o'clock, start of the movie. Woo woo! Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Molly, you got anything? I'm hosting a bad movie night in my Discord. Mockery <laughs> <on my Discord. laughs> of life. <laughs> oh my God, that zowie! That sounds like fun. God, I know. Yes. You guys are amazing. Uh, you guys are the best. All right, so uh, with that, uh, we will catch you hopefully at movie night, hosted on Molly Can has Discord channel. Uh, movie is going to be lift. It's going to be a fabulous ass time. So come and check us out and hang out with us then. Other than that, we'll catch you next time uh, with the Don Forge Company. And uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, live your best adventure, and we'll see you next time.